What is up, people of the world? It is July 22. After dark, baby. Oh. You know what it is. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. You show off your um leggings. Those are pretty fly. <laughs> they keep falling off. Oh really? Or those are those aren't Teddy Fresh, are they? Slap that. Slap that foot on the desk. Slap it up there. That's it. Oh. Oh shit! Damn. Dominate me, mommy. I want to smell feet. Stomp on me. Anyway, welcome. How you doing, Yula? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Nice. How was your week? It's been good, I think. I don't know. What about you? You don't know? <laughs> no idea? Um, regular week? Regular. Regular schmegular. It's been nice that we've been able to swim with the nice summer weather. We've been swimming with Theodore mm-hmm. a lot. It's all he wants to do now is swim. Yeah. He'll be like 10 minutes before bedtime. I want to swim! <laughs> Anyway, um, also you guys should be happy to know that I'm all fucked up once again on Benadryl. Can anybody guess why? I'm taking guesses. Why am I fucked up on Benadryl? And my face and eyelids specifically (laughs) are super itchy and puffy. That's right. It's the fika fish, I think. It's got, I mean, I don't understand what else it could be at this point. Um, but, um... What's up with the audio? Are they pranking or is there something wrong? No, we're the audio. Small. Did they hear me though? Yeah, it's just we we <coughs> Dan fixed it. Okay. Audio, audio. That audio. Stuff, it, it's like saying Beetlejuice three times, you know. Audio, audio, audio. Yeah. Is it fixed, guys? Yes. Okay, yeah, I think so. How bad is it? Everyone's just spamming. It, it just sounded super EQ'd. It's all good now. We're good. Okay. Audio is fixed, my friends. Audio. Um, what was I saying? Yes, why am I on Benadryl? I'm pretty sure that it's got to be the fika fish because mm-hmm. the last mm-hmm. time I had this crazy rash all over my face. Yep. And it's when I licked the fika fish. Right. This time I only dump, I dunked my fingers in it and smelled it. Mm, just touching it. And I washed my fingers really good. Still did it. I still touched myself. (laughs) Take it for life. I just, I don't know, I'm not, I don't have any allergies, but there's something in that fika fish that ain't right. Hmm. It's very possible. Maybe it's the, um... Poison. (laughs) It's a literal... Poison in there. Maybe it's the fact it's uh, literally uh, rotting flesh. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Turns out I'm allergic to (laughs) rotting flesh, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Not such a bad thing to be uh, allergic to. Yeah. I'll never be a cannibal, guys. Uh, Just, just not... Made for that kind of stuff. Never ever do it. It is death. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so um, anyway, yes, yes. Here we are. I am half asleep because I've been <laughs> all fricked up on Benadryl. You know, I got to tell you guys, the weekend's coming up. Oh, big announcement tomorrow. Uh, right. At what did we say? Two. Two. One. You were two, saying two. 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 We're all good with that, like with babysitters and stuff. Yeah, we could do one. One Maybe better? Better. Yeah, one's better. One. You guys good with one? Yeah, good one ever. Okay, okay. I got nothing going on. <laughs> Is that okay for you? I don't know if you're being sarcastic. No, no, I'm I'm being serious. <laughs> Tomorrow at Thank one, you. we are having a members only live stream where hey. we will be watching the infamous and long awaited Tippy Toes. <laughs> uh, the role of a lifetime, Gary Oldman. <laughs> and in the role of a lifetime, <laughs> Gary and can only what be it can only be described as one of the worst most offensive movies ever <laughs> and they were so full of themselves when they made it they really thought they were doing oscar bait with that gary oldman yep. walking around on his knees mm-hmm. so so i invite all of you guys all you beautiful members to join us tomorrow we're going to watch the whole goddamn movie you know what's funny about tiptoes that shit is two and a half hours oh, yeah God. you know with those kinds of shitty rom-coms you're like 90 minutes 
I was like, how much, how fucking much story, how much do you have to say? Are we going to allow Ethan to pause it? Because we'll be here I, 10 hours. You know, I thought about that. I don't think so. No. I think no pausing and allowed. People won't be able to sync it up if you pause it. Okay. Well, I don't think they're going to have to. We figured out a way. I don't think you're going to have to buy the movie or um, mm. sync it. You can watch along with us. Right, Dan? That's, that's the plan. <laughs> Yeah, we figured out a way. We're, uh, we're, 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 yeah. we're going to play the movie <laughs> and just hope for the best. <laughs> no, but Dan, before you laugh, well, it's, not, it's not a joke. <laughs> it's commentary. Yeah, yeah. Also, like Mystery Theater of 10 billion, where they just sit in front of the screen. So we're going to set up a green screen. Right, yeah. So we'll be on the bottom of it and then uh. we'll screen the movie. <laughs> and, um, and I guess. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I, I think it'll be fine for the stream. I guess we should say, because we're just going to play the movie, pretty decent chance it gets blocked after the fact, so be there I think live. they'll claim it. I don't think they'll block it. Even if it's like the whole thing? Even if it's just for members, they, it still applies well, they, to... Like, I, I think it'll be yeah, fine yeah, for yeah, the yeah, stream. Yeah. I just wonder if after the fact it'll uh, get taken down. I don't think they really look at like um, how much you watch. They right. Just, whether it detects yeah, it or not, yeah. right? We'll do it live. <laughs> but I, as far as I know, they don't want to claim this movie. They they want to pretend this movie doesn't exist. <laughs> so maybe maybe nothing will happen. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's Dan's birthday too, so it's gonna be a whole birthday oh. slash tippy toe <laughs> bash. We're celebrating your birthday, yeah. which is today. Birthday was yesterday. Or yes, wait, wait, what? My birthday was yesterday. Your birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. Wait. How did it go? Oh, I was confused about that. Yeah, how was, no. how was your birthday? Yeah, it was good. I was here uh, working for the majority of it. Oh my god, it. I forgot to wish you happy oh my birthday. Oh god. Yesterday. I thought it was tomorrow. <laughs> well, we're celebrating it tomorrow. You, you did. You, you did. Uh, oh, I did? Yeah, you you're oh, oh. you don't have to apologize. You you wish me happy birthday. Okay, thank god. <laughs> he meant to thank say god. I mean it though. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I said it. Dan. I say it every day to Dan just in case. Yeah. Just in case, right. Cuz I'm so I don't want to miss it. Well, happy birthday then. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah, happy thank birthday. You. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm super excited. It's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. It's going to be drinks, pizza, ex yeah. uh, thrills. And you can actually join us this time, maybe, because the last one we did, it was for your fight. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. It looked fun last time. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, I wonder what kind of food should we be getting? And since it's Dan's birthday uh, party, where is Dan? Uh, I don't know, but it's also good. sort of Cam's birthday, too. Oh, yeah. Cam, what did you want to eat tomorrow? Uh, you, you requested fried chicken? Fried chicken, baby. Fuck! <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Okay. And do you have any specific place that you like, or you just want generally fried chicken? Anywhere is good. I'm down for whatever. Fucking wow, okay, fried chicken. Interesting. Are you over the Buffalo Calzone? Because I was thinking to get some of those for you. Oh, I'm down for that, too. Yeah, okay. I'm down for that. works. works instead of fried chicken. I'm down for whatever, man. Um, are you guys ready for the other thing, Sam? Okay. Yeah, also, it's Cam's birthday. We have a surprise, a big surprise for you, Cam. Did you know that? Really? No, I... Not really. No, I did not. <laughs> not really? You should suspect I, should something's I look, up? not look back there or something? Or? No, we'll, like we'll, we'll... We'll take care of it. It's... Okay. We're, we're working <laughs> on bringing it out. It's a pretty big deal, though. Really? Do you have any idea what it is? No clue. Is it a buffalo chicken calzone? It's the biggest buffalo cheese calzone ever. Is it really? I had no idea this was going to happen. No, it's we, better. It's better than a buffalo cheese. We have a uh, blindfold by your desk. Uh, you oh, okay. have to put it on in a little bit. <coughs> okay. Oh, you guys aren't ready yet, Ian? They're grabbing it now. It's a so, two-person job. Can we get a drum rolls out? Or, well, drum rolls. I'll, I'll let you know when, when I see it. All right. <laughs> So it's not a buffalo cheese calzone. You want what? You want to guess what else it is? Um, a lemur. A what down? <laughs> a lemur. A lemur. Oh, a lemur. No. A lemur. It is not. I don't deal in exotic animals. <laughs> but, uh, animals! <laughs> but I'll tell you what. There's something I want to tell you guys about while we wait for Cam's present to be ready. I am a junkie for reality television shows, as you guys yeah. probably know by now. And F Boy Island season two is <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Super legit. I like it. The first season I didn't love. I'll be honest. Really? Well, it ended. Strong, the ending but, was yeah. The ending was really good. But the second season is very entertaining. <laughs> I stopped watching halfway through the first season. Yeah. Oh, so it's maybe, worth finishing. Maybe I do this season. 
Yeah. The ending of the first season was epic. Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Just the last episode, basically. <laughs> Is it because, like, two... Mm, no spoiler. I think I can spoil I mean, the first so season. Old, Is it like no. they fell in love and it turned out he was a fuckboy? Yeah. He, well, not fuck. only that, he was a fuckboy, and then at the end, they have the option to take 100000 or share it. Did he take it? And he took Dude. it all <gasps> for himself. <laughs> okay, I have to watch. <laughs> that is awesome. And then the ultimate twist was that... Uh, <laughs> She's like, okay, fuck boy. Well, here's another twist. We're donating your, all the money to charity. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> so, he it's, it's really cool. The, the second season's back. It's good. So we're ready for uh, Cam? All right, Cameron, put on your blindfold, please. It's time to bring out Cameron's epic birthday present in honor of the Camille. The great Camly. How old are you, Cam? 97. 97 <laughs> years old. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you lost one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yep, a little bit more. There you go. Oh, my God. All right, Cam. Can hold I... on there. <laughs> it's something you've been wanting. Something you've been asking for. <laughs> Can I take out my blindfold? Go ahead, go ahead, you can take it off now. <laughs> oh, hey! It is a backdrop! I love this! Let's go! Thank you so much! I love this so much! Wow. Happy birthday, Cameron! Happy birthday, Cameron! On behalf of the whole crew! Woo! Woo, baby! Was... Fuck! 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 This it's a backdrop. This completes the vibe, man. Before it was just all the like 10 million office chairs behind there, and this is awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, did Sam make this? Yeah. Or sure did. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sam. You're welcome, Cam. Hey. 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 Cam for... hey, but I paid for the supplies, Cameron. I'm sorry? I paid for the supplies. Oh, and thank you very yeah, much, I mean, come on. Cam, for the supplies. <laughs> Don't forget about me. <laughs> I have to pay Sam, okay, so, you know. And thank you very much for paying Sam. Here. <laughs> right. About this who's doing awesome. what. Uh, there's actually somebody else we shouldn't forget about. Woo! <laughs> Fuck, baby. Fuck! Woo! Fuck! I did, he said. Oh, wow, oh, what wow. do you have, Baskin Robbins? Baskin Robbins, baby. Woo! What flavor you got in there? <laughs> I got mint and chip, Rocky Road. Oh, shit. Ooh. Fuck, baby. Ooh. It's Friday, Is that baby. really not, Ooh. like, disturbing to people listening to the show? But how loud I'm Yeah. I can do it. Fuck! This is a general um, setting, so I can't really say the, uh, the, the you, children are around. Okay. Uh, I think you should stop you. I think it's Friday, baby. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, baby. Ow. Fuck, fuck. Suck on my tits, bitch. My <laughs> The censored. I vibe. did today. Pee in my woo. Me <laughs> and my woo. <laughs> woo in my woo. In <laughs> <And> my woo. <laughs> How about this one? Suck my horse. Woo. Suck my horse. Woo. <laughs> there you go. That's what that would work. <laughs> Woo, in my butt. Woo. In my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Woo. Woo, in my butt. Woo. In my butt. Woo. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> They're going to think there's an owl in there. <laughs> yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Baby, fuck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's pretty empty there. You, <laughs> you're okay. Oh, well, there's a, there's oh. a little family there. Yeah. Oh, family. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, so, how often do you get ice cream, Gabe? That's kind of sweet that you do that for yourself. Like every week or after lunch, you know? Nice. Kind of thing. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> when, I, when I have a yin for ice cream, I get some right now. Right now, back to Robin. Yeah. That's nice. I used to work. I used to work at Baskin Robbins like 10, 11 years ago. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like my old job. <laughs> Is that the place you used to work? It's a different one. Oh. But it's, it's good. It's good ice cream. Yeah. And um, 
Why did you leave your your last job? Uh, opportunity, and then one I got a job closer to my house. Oh, okay, 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 that makes sense. And when when yeah. you used to scoop ice cream, would you make like a super big scoop for the people, or would were you kind of just buy the books? I have to go buy the book, you yeah, know. They you know, they, if you go buy super big scoop, it's kind of like you you eating up the profits and stuff. Mm. You're a good employee, Gabe. You're a good man. <laughs> What's yeah. your favorite flavor? Pee in my what? What? Mint and chip and um. Mint and I chip. Like pralines and cream. That's like one of my favorites. Yeah, I love mint and chip. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, baby, fuck. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, they're looking right at you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're definitely wondering what's going on over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what it is, you know? It is what it is, right? I mean, uh, you're just being yourself. Yeah. If they have a problem with that, fuck, baby, fuck them, right? No. I, don't wanna get a, I don't wanna get a complaint, and then I don't wanna get kicked out of here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. I gotta be. I mean, I know it's customer service. You want to be respectful to the customers, but yeah. they don't want to disrupt their business either. So yeah. I got to respect that. Okay. Yeah. Respect it. <laughs> what a game, man. The antithesis, antithesis you know, you gotta... of Jimmy Lee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, Gabe. Well, you're a good man. I like that you're out there treating yourself to ice cream. I think we should we could all take a note. You know, we should all be treating ourselves to ice cream more often. Mm. It's called self-care, right, Gabe? Right. Self care. Oh yeah. Thirty one flavors, baby. Thirty one flavor flavors of this dip, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Put that ice cream up my ass, bitch. Up oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> that would work. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right. Hey, you take care. You have a good weekend, okay, bud? Love you yeah, so much. Yeah, have a good weekend and. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Happy weekend, baby. Ooh, Has risen. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, risen. For the weekend, weekend heaven. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here, say, harmonize with me. Ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, not that. The sound. I'm just wetting my lips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ready? Ooh, ooh. All right, thanks, All right. Gabe. <laughs> bye, bye. Right. Yeah, love you yeah, so much. Have a good one. All right, have a good weekend, buddy. We love you. Okay, take care. Too much. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Off, uh, I, th oh. I thought it was done. <laughs> love you, <him>, buddy. <coughs> Ooh, it is Friday, baby. You know how during the Olympics someone goes and lights the torch? That's mm. Gabe for the weekend. Right. Oh. It ain't Friday till you hear that. <laughs> you know what it is. Good man, actually. Really, really conscientious and thoughtful of, of uh, the people around him. Mm -hmm. And also, what a great employee we learned. Mm -hmm. No big scoops. <laughs> profit. He, he prioritized the profit of uh, Baskin Robbins, which is really good. Sounds like a good guy. So no sponsors today. Thank you. I'll sponsor, yeah. You will? Teddy Fresh next release is coming out next oh week. God. By the way, look at this. Winnie the Pooh shirt. Swag. <laughs> swag. 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 Oh, my swag. Internet. Swag. I love that. Very nice. Swag. Is that because uh, is Winnie the Pooh? Yes, sir. The main now? Yes. Yes, sir. Hey, let's oh, go. I, we heard that Winnie the Pooh was um, public domain, so we said. Swag, 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 <laughs> swag, swag. Well, well, very nice. Actually, what's funny about Winnie the Pooh being public domain is 
Some people are going absolutely crazy for it. Like someone's making up some horror movie about Winnie the Pooh. Really? Mm-hmm. That he like eats people. It's pretty crazy. We just wanted to make a nice shirt about it. Swag. Um, um, I also wanted to say that the sale was awesome and yes. thank you to everyone that um, bought stuff. I saw a lot of people say it's their first order. Yeah, that's awesome. So I'm really excited for all these people. Um, I think you know, I think the product is good. So anybody that it's their first order is going to be happy. Yeah. Hopefully. You guys are going to love it. If you don't, let us know. Um, you know, and our employees, we keep them sedated and chained up. So they'll be, <laughs> they'll be available to answer your emails 24-7. <laughs> I was thinking about that yesterday because we had a little party yeah, here. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of was thinking about putting it behind the I scenes know. as a joke. Like there was a torture downstairs. Then we went downstairs and they were just yeah. having this crazy party. We could. We Dude, brought. You guys just have pizza there like all the time. I go in there and I'm just like, motherfucker, you guys are eating pizza. It reminds me of how the office they seem to have a party like every week. For... Yeah, that's pretty. Much yeah. The they vibe. have like a party committee yeah. going on. Down well, there. somebody, oh, yeah, the party committee. somebody was leaving, and someone's. It was the birthday of someone's daughter who happened to be there, and I brought Theodore with me yesterday. So all of a sudden it became a spontaneous party with karaoke machine. Yeah. Theodore was and, having fun. He stole the show. Yeah, yeah. and oh, everybody oh. stood in a circle, and Theodore was like <coughs> dancing yeah. in the middle. He's hamming it up. <laughs> Did I show you guys that video? <laughs> Which? There was like a whole circle. Everybody they, they was in there. I recorded that. Video. that video. And then oh, the oh. Theodore loves this song from Madagascar, the cartoon, where it goes, "I like to move it, move yeah. it." Mm -hmm. It's his favorite song. And they were doing karaoke. <laughs> So there was like 20 people around Theodore, and he was chomping it up, dude. He had great. <laughs> he was just loving it, man. He was dancing like so a maniac. No stage fear whatsoever. Yeah. Like, this kid is so yeah. brave. <laughs> we had him on that mic yesterday. Yeah, he was he hanging out with us for a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. He I loves, saw that afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to be on the podcast. and to, He loves making his favorite thing is before bed now. We get out our phone, and we make videos together. And it's so Aww. crazy. Like, Aww. that came from him. I don't even know how it started. He just told me, like, he wanted me to open the phone, and I thought he meant like take a picture. Yeah. And then he was like, "No, like record." Oh, interesting. And then before bed, we were always reading like five books, you know, always like I know. another one, another one. And now it's just he just wants to record videos. Uh -huh. And then he records himself, and then he wants to watch it right afterwards. <laughs> he, he cracks out like That's he so cracks funny. himself. He goes, he goes, Theodore Klein here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They were having a photo shoot downstairs, and he walked past it, and he goes, I want to do a photo shoot. And I was like, okay, well, that's Dan upstairs. And when we came upstairs, I was, like, pretending. I was like, yeah. he goes, why are you pretending? He goes, oh, <laughs> oh, God. Smart. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't he's know. got the bug. I don't yeah. know where he got it from, but God help him. Like, I really make sure not to push him in, into any direction because I don't want that to be the vibe. I've never liked seeing it um, when other people do it, like, you know. I don't know, family channels on YouTube or just like kid dancers, you know, when the parents push them so hard. Mm -hmm. um, so I never want to like influence him too much. I don't want like obviously we have so many like direction he could go like with fashion or with the videos. Yeah. But this is all coming from him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't necessarily want him to do like videos or comedy or anything. <laughs> I, have scary. No, I have no desire or preconceived desire for him to do that. I mean, it's. It's a good job, but it's like, um, it's not always the best job, and it's pretty fucked up it's, to have your whole life be public. Yeah. So I don't, I'm not asking, I, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm worried about it, man. And He's uh, already out there <laughs> fucking you know. looking for the limelight. Yeah. From what I've seen, he's very much like you, Ethan. Yeah. Very much. Very much. Yeah. Well, we asked him yeah, when he was up here. Yeah. We were like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he's like, a clown. <laughs> and I was like, your dad's kind of a clown. I've never heard him say that. That's a little yeah. bit of a clown. So that may, that he has attract. never said clown before. He said clown. Yeah, he usually he says trash truck driver or... <laughs> Those That's a respectable are job. Really? He's over Oh, that. yeah. And when he was making a bracelet, Lena's saying, we're going to put your name on it. He said, put, uh, Lena, what, what did he say? Silly. So, yeah, silly uh, teddy. Yeah, silly yeah. teddy. Yeah, I, we did bracelets and, like, because I, I personally, I enjoy it. So I try to get him to do stuff that I like, too. <laughs> it doesn't go that well. But. Oh, you, you know what else happened yesterday was, uh, I was, I said hi to him. And you guys remember, so, like, during the lockdown days, yeah. we were doing the show at the house. So I was going over to Ethan and Ela's house all the time. And Theodore really took a liking to me. Mm -hmm. He would get like so excited whenever yeah. I showed up. 
And I was like, hey, hey, Theodore, you remember me? And he was like, I don't know. And then like later, I was like, don't you remember? I used to come to the basement all the time. And he was like, thought for a second. He's like, oh, that was when I was a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, nine oh months God. ago? <laughs> well, that is like a third of his life at this point. Right, yeah, it's yeah. true, it's true. <laughs> If I if I'm asking about something that happened like a day or two ago, he goes, "Oh, that was a long time ago." <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we're making bracelets, and I was I try to write like cute things, and then he's like, "Let's write silly fart," and um, <laughs> yeah, silly fart. And then Shredder puked because sometimes he does that, and then he wanted he made a bracelet with me saying "silly puke." <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. What's going on at home there? <laughs> But that's what it is, y'all. Woo! Zach, how's your toenail, man? Zach, we talked about his ingrown toenail, <laughs> and I have pictures of it. Should I be show? Let me. I oh, I did want to say bad, that it doesn't look that bad to me, Zach. Um, like the, I know how painful it is. It it happens to me too. Yeah. Uh, there's another picture I took before I went in the procedure, and it was just oozing pus. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? Which I will I will save you from. From viewing that. So this photo. So you did is, a procedure. Well, it, it, I'm in more pain now. Than, After. Uh, yeah, because I went to a podiatrist that isn't my main dude, <sighs> and uh, I was screaming bloody murder yesterday. No. It Wait, was the what? worst experience of my life. What happened? And the last time it was like pain relief, and now this time it's like increased pain. The, so when I normally go to my, my main podiatrist who's out of town this week, he just, you know, goes in and doesn't numb me or anything like that and just gets the nail out. It's like five seconds of discomfort and that's it. Yeah. You're good to go. Yeah. yeah. This motherfucker, dude, like, oh my God. He's like, he's like, all right, well, I'm going to have to numb your, first off, he was, he was old as shit, this guy. Oh, like, I hate super old doctors. He looked like just Bro, like. I'm becoming an ageist. I don't care. <laughs> he looked just like Dr. Now from my 600 pound life. Okay. Like just, just oh, like him. Dr. Now. Yeah. You're fat. Uh, um, you know, fat. You what do you You're fat. <laughs> so he's like, all right, well, I'm enough to numb your toe. And I'm like, well, can't you just go in and, you know, just snip it out a little bit? And he's like, well, that sounds kind of barbaric. And I'm like, what? What? Right. So then he, he covers the area of me looking at my toe. Oh, I can't see it. He puts like a tarp over it, and I've never had that before. And this motherfucker takes the, the clippers and goes so fucking far down, gushing blood everywhere. I'm screaming what? bloody murder, like, fucking stop, fucking stop, fucking stop, and he wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop? He wouldn't stop. No, I can't with doctors like that. He, he taught you a lesson. He said, you better take the fucking in. Yeah, take, take the fucking the shot shit next but, time. But like, I, I when I normally go, I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> so is it possible to, uh, to, to, that that this was a worse infection, the, or a worse, a worse in grown toenail? Yeah, it probably just progressed since last time. Could right? it could it have just been a worse situation? Would possibly. Yeah. It 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 hurt. I wouldn't say it's my worst, but it, it was definitely up there. Can I, so this photos you put are after the procedure, right? This is after the procedure. All right, warning, if you don't like seeing toes, but it's not gory. It's actually not that bad. It, so, it's really not, but here it is. Yeah, so. Yeah, dude. You can see, so he removed this whole part of the nail. It fucking hurt like a motherfucker. Damn, dude. dude. I was screaming. Where's Seaman at? Yeah, I know. So when you Pretty guys good. showed Zach on the sh the show, when you showed it, that was before the procedure. Yes, that was okay. on Wednesday when he was gonna go there afterwards. So at that point, um, I was wondering, I was gonna ask you about it. I didn't know you were gonna have a procedure already, but <coughs> you can't you can't clip it yourself, Zach. I've tried. Yeah. Um, I just find I ended up I end up fucking it up more when I do it myself, and I'd rather just go and just. Because I trust my the main podiatrist that I go to with my life, like the guy knows how to get it real well. And, uh, but um, yeah, but I just listen. I'm getting a little bit bitter with like really old people that don't quit their job when they need when they need to retire. Mm -hmm. Like like if you're a doctor and we you're like really 80 years go. old. No, I'm sorry. This uh, we need to talk now. about this. Why it's happening and <laughs> and mostly it's happening in politics. It's happening in senators, representatives, the fucking presidency. I'm tired of old people running the fucking country. And by the way, uh, well, you don't have to go to them, okay? So it's different in that case. But 
if you're 80 years old, you're just probably not up to date with shit. No, he's not. And like, he probably got shaky ass hands too. <laughs> he was shaking a little bit. I was I'm debating. Saying, bro. I was debating like, should I just get the you fuck know, out of here? Yeah, but what about some, you know that some cultures like you're supposed to respect the elderly, like their wisdom. Yeah, well, if is they that were, it's like not a thing anymore. Listen, listen. No, it is still a thing, but the thing is like. It, uh, you know, uh, do you want a fucking eight-year-old person driving a kid's bus or some shit, you know, with a bus full of kids? I mean, uh, you can respect but the old not... people in your life, but also be like, I don't think an 80-year-old should be president. Sorry, dude. Just got to be real about it. Um... I say we fucking euthanize people at 80, straight up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Are you trying to We're get not, take I'm off? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stop. Stop. I'm kidding. I don't like this whole thing right now about ageism. I would rather just talk about the toenail. Listen, sometimes you just gotta make a stand, okay? <laughs> I agree let's with you. I'm tired of the world being run Bro, by let's old talk fucking about, yeah, um, There's Salt not Lake enough City. opportunities for young people in let's the world talk about already the Salt Lake, as it is. In Salt Lake and these City. people never want to pass the fucking reins. Make yes, a stand it about used to be, Salt Lake City. It used to be that you old would man. gracefully pass the reins to the younger old generation. <gasps> you can't... It, you got to fucking go... You gotta go retire! Sometimes people well, are old and it's gotta stop. Well, I just no, wanna say By the time they graduate, they're like 35 if you're gonna specialize in medicine. Okay, so what? I just wanna good say... 35 year run. Yeah, bro. so it goes one of two ways. Either they're a master of the craft or they're too old for it. Look, Whatever you think, Ethan is saying does not represent me or how I run my business. Thank you. <laughs> well, there's no lamer. ageism in Teddy Fresh. <laughs> yeah, there's no 80 year olds at Teddy Fresh either, just to be clear. Just because they haven't applied. Right. Back in the days in Scandinavia, they used to kill old people. They threw them off like, or they they made them jump off uh, big mountains. That's what the fuck fucking I'm talking about. Ah. Fucking midsummer, right, love? What? Yes. Wait, is that <laughs> like, we need to just like cut the show because if this is how we're starting today. <laughs> Wait, love, give me more background. Is that like a Viking thing? Uh, yeah, well, they did it uh, in Viking culture, and I think it I don't know how real it is, but it's definitely like a story that. Uh, you get told every now and then. It's called Ette Stoop. Now uh, that's respect. Yeah, and it's like suicide because they do it. They think it's a respectful thing to do. So it's not forced usually, I think. Exactly. <laughs> Wisdom means jumping off a bridge when you're 80. <laughs> yeah. Death to all of them. Am I right? <laughs> well, listen, my, my uncle was 79 when my cousin Tim was born. And <coughs> what? He, he's brought so much to my life. Your cousin or your... My, or, my uncle, I'm sorry, my... My uncle, Tim's dad, was 79 when Tim was born. And how much did he bring to Tim's life? It brought him a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> he inherited a lot. But no, he... he You're, uh, okay, yeah. whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not making a comment about having yeah. kids at 79. I'm just saying. Okay, people are saying, why is he less scared of being canceled? Maybe because he got a ban already and yeah, had I mean, to not make a podcast for a to week? To be fair to Ela. <laughs> I, I don't know. Are you just trying to take a week off? Maybe. <laughs> then, yeah. No, but, well, actually, if we get another strike, it'll be two weeks. Right. So. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not. What am I gonna get a strike for, bro? I can't express. We're saying old people should. Um, I'm. That's a joke. Come on. The no, last the one was a joke too. Come on. Bro, <laughs> I don't think old people should kill themselves. What rules, oh, you sons of bitches? But just <laughs> fucking. Yeah, but anyway, I don't know. I, I, I'm just getting. You know, I used to be like, oh, ageism. Fuck. You know, give him a break. I just think personally, it's getting out of fucking control. There's not enough opportunities for young people, and old people are not passing the reins off. They're hanging on for too fucking long, and it's like becoming a real problem. That's it. Do you want a, do you want a real counterpoint to that? Sure. It, it, at least in this country, the ability for a lot of people to retire has been taken away over the last several decades because of the social safety nets being gutted over and over again. Reagan implementing income tax on social security benefits all that kind of stuff and people have to work longer and so it's not always their fault like not everybody can can retire not everybody has that option i think the ones that you are talking about that you have a very fair point on are the politicians the average age of congress is like fucking what what was it we looked it up on leftovers dude it's like it was 65, like insane 67. yeah it, 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 that that's a problem 
but that's different than than people who are working. Yeah. So um, obviously, if you're like a salt of the earth that's worker, the thing. I agree and, about and politicians. And there's not good opportunities out there. The fact that you have to work is fucked up and horrible, right? That's. But I'm talking about like the elite people with desirable jobs. I, I don't who disagree don't with you. Don't want to fucking that. relinquish the torch. I don't yeah. disagree either. I just think the way but you phrase it. But obviously, if you can't retire, then 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 obviously you know you got to work, and God bless them for that. And damn this country. Also, from forcing them to work. There we go. We got we landed at a good compromise. There, okay, right? so you, you guys agree with that? Okay, good. Obviously, I'm not talking about like an eight year old who's been working at fucking Target his whole life, or what? He's like, yeah, I mean that sucks, dude. Shout out to you, bro. Fall of the earth. <laughs> All right. We're talking about this. But he's not stealing opportunities, being a fucking Walmart cashier. Right. Right. Fair enough. All right. There you go. Thank you, everybody. It's just been eating me up. It's been eating me up. I had to say it. Average. Um, anyway, ca can you cut the camera in real fast? Camera in. I want to see the backdrop. Nice. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> look at this man. Um, looks fantastic, Cameron. You look right at home there. I feel right at home. I love it so much. And oh, yeah, nice. I'm super Great. enthused right now. You have no idea. Cameron is very nice. Cameron is a very nice guy. <laughs> Okay, um, what else we got here? Uh, I gotta say, I hope you keep podcasting until you're 82 so we have stable employment. Right, we'll see how you feel. <laughs> That's a good question. When, when should I retire? Well, am I, I'm, am, am I stealing opportunities by being a podcaster at 80? Is it like specifically no. my show? <laughs> no, probably not. Yeah. So everyone but me retire. <laughs> this does not apply to me. <laughs> no, I ain't doing this shit at 80. Come on, who are you kidding? Watch this shit, bro. This TikTok is fucking awesome. It went mega viral on TikTok, and it's got like millions, mil tens of millions of views. Yo, this shit slaps. You ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> It's just some creepy old lady looking out <laughs> the window. <laughs> I thought it was like Gordon Ramsay for a second. Uh, <laughs> okay, somebody pointed out uh, on like the sub or something that it kind of looks like shoe nice. <laughs> shoe nice. Let's take a Watch. second look. I don't see shoe nice. Oh wait, is it a woman or a man? I can't tell. Oh man, it's a dude. I think. <laughs> Here we go. Like At guy. that moment in time, when that that's a morph. That's like, <laughs> that's another being. That's on another island. <laughs> yeah, so funny. I don't see the shoe nice to be. Uh, I've been prank. snoring drain them all day. Yeah, but. <laughs> we almost, the dude almost went overboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. A little cheer me up there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you guys, are you guys in the mood for some crazy chiropractor uh, shenanigans? Like oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. So by the way, this video is like two minutes long. I, uh, when I screened it, I feel like the first half of it is like pretty innocuous. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you want to skip a little yeah, skip. bit further. I'll skip. It got it gets wild though. <sighs> yeah, chiropractic is all pseudoscience. Sorry to everyone who uses it. Yeah, that looks painful. Enough, by the way, there's like a whole um, there's a bunch of chiropractors I found on TikTok now. Who are like, just so you know, this is all bullshit. Like realigning, spine movement, mm. cracking, and all this shit. The just so you know, whistle? it's all pseudoscience. He's like, the only way to make your back feel better as a chiropractor is like stretching and exercises. He's like, all these He's people are scamming you. There's a couple of them. No, he doesn't do that stuff. He does like, he teaches the clients how to, how to stretch and mm -hmm. what exercises they need. Well, so are they a chiropractor like or are they just like a. He's physician? a chiropractor, licensed chiropractor. Yeah, he just says they're all they're the whole most of the industry just scamming people with this bad advice. After I gave birth, so many, <coughs> I I think I got a massage and I also at another place somebody like two different people or three asked me if I got it adjusted after mm -hmm. giving birth and I was like, "What are you a car?" I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> adjusted. That's yeah. such a nice way of saying it. I'm gonna crack <laughs> your fucking bones. There we go. You, nothing's adjusted. Nothing moves. <laughs> like it's that's the whole thing. Lena, you worked in a chiropractor office. Yeah, I did. 
<laughs> were the chiropractor? They weren't your family members, were they? They were. They were. Oh, shit. They don't want to probe too deep, man. <laughs> okay. I can talk. Well, in my experience, <laughs> chiropractors are like, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to throw his family under the bus. Just, I mean, but That's okay. I mean. In my I experience, can. chiropractors are fucking weirdos. <laughs> Almost exclusively. Huh? I yeah, and I will say in my hometown at least, a lot of the chiropractor has become close friends with the lawyers. Mm. Oh, uh-huh. misconduct. <laughs> well, probably accidentally touching in the wrong place. People. Yeah, I don't know. Touching <laughs> and cracking. Not right, right, let me let me be clear. Let me be clear. Not Lena's uncle, but I'm just saying a lot of the ones in our. There's a lot of people my age that want to go into chiropractic. Uh, yeah, because they well, see the way they're living. Really, uh, for personal injury claims, like if you have an attorney already and you don't have a doctor, then the attorney will refer you to a certain chiropractor mm-hmm. and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Oh, a little. And that's why they develop like a close relationship. Mm-hmm. The great thing about being a chiropractor, too, is that you don't actually have to do anything. You only have to convince them that some, there's no like tangible, like, oh, it's fixed. It's like you can convince people through a placebo that it, that it worked and that can help. But like you, there's no metric yeah. of like actually being a good psychiatrist. It's like total doo doo. Or chiropractor. Let's just watch the fucking video. <laughs> I Beauty. The sick kind of way it is, right? <laughs> Ooh, cool tip, dude. Jesus, bro. Just use your brain, guys. This doesn't work. Wait, like, what? it doesn't make sense. So the shoulder blade's not actually attached. I don't like to the body other than soft tissue. Oh, cool. well, actually, <laughs> I know, it gave me such so a... We can actually... Yo, stop, bro. No. <laughs> You're hurting him. This is That's not the first time. What are you doing? <laughs> ah. <Yeah>. Bro, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Dude, it looks like a Mortal Kombat fatality. <laughs> stop! Stretching muscles. The You're not straight. You're about to crack his arm off, bro. Uh, can you imagine how bad that hurt? <laughs> Stop! Man, it's so uncomfortable. The dude. Dude. Last week, enough, He's got to stop Bro, doing that. Stop! That's not helping. <laughs> 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 They're laughing. Wait, who's yeah, laughing? Oh, fucked up. <laughs> Just look snarly. Deepa! Trust me, you'll feel great later. Yeah, oh. I mean, I think Those in theory, if pe- people, you know, they're in such chronic pain, unfortunately, yeah. that they turn to every solution people do. Uh, chiropractor, people do uh, the needle shit. What's the needle shit? Acupuncture. acupuncture. Yeah, acupuncture. People swear by this stuff, too. Yeah, and because, and I think placebo, it's powerful because, like, for example, you read this book about yeah. how back pain is caused by anxiety. Yes, are you calling my book placebo? No, I was just, <laughs> no, I'm saying that the mind-pain connection. It is, Dr. Is, Sarno? Yeah. Book? Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying it, you're, the book was placebo. What I'm saying is the mind connection is so mm-hmm. powerful mm-hmm. that your back pain went away for a long time just by reading this book. Mm-hmm. My point is, is that if people believe it's working, it can actually alleviate the pain. Yeah, I okay. swear by that book. Mm-hmm. I you read it too? It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Howard's recommendation. Yes, I mean, that's how yeah. Ethan heard him talk about it, and then Ethan bought me the book. <laughs> yeah. It. I mean, like, I can't explain it. It it worked like magic. It's very weird. Yeah. yeah. The book basically said, what's the book called? Because people are going to be curious. Uh, ten, ten, ten Ways to Cure Back Pain, something like that. No. Um, anyway, his theory is that, like, you carry your anxiety in your back. Um, it's not just people. back, necessarily. There's, like, lower back. Or mine was, like, specifically here. Um, but it's it's about, like, how, yeah, how the stress and anxiety um, and things like that can manifest itself in like physical pain. Right. It's called uh, healing back pain, the mind body connection. Yes. Yeah. And you know, if you have chronic back pain, I would recommend reading it. seems like it's helped a lot of people. I totally would read it. Um, I had like this pain and it would just come and go and it, and every time that it came back, it became worse and worse. And like, it started like, 30 minutes it would hurt and then it would be like a whole day and then it was like three days it won't go away and it was becoming like I couldn't do stuff like it was getting into my daily it was becoming a problem it was getting in the way of me doing things 
Mm. And I tried seeing doctors, doing x-rays. Acupuncture. Um, I tried acupuncture. Tried all this stuff. You went to a chiropractor. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing helped. And then when I read that book, it's like, it's kind of like telling you that the first thing is to understand the connection of um, how the stuff like stress or anxiety can manifest itself in that way. And then like, just by recognizing what may have caused it, like if there was a moment that you can think of that was super dramatic or something happened to you and that you have an impact, mm. um, just even becoming aware of it already starts relieving the pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it really did work. There you have it. Um, yeah, but I was watching Housewives last night and this one woman's an alcoholic. Yeah. And she goes to an acupuncture and he's like, oh, oh, the place of... We're talking Alvin about Hicks. Housewives of the OC, by the way. Shannon, Sh Shannon Bador. He goes, oh, the place of addiction is in the ear. <laughs> right here. So she goes, and he just puts one needle in her ear. And she goes, you can put needles anywhere else? He goes, no, no, that's where the addiction is, in the ear. That's acupuncture, bro. Just one needle in the ear. And then you're not an alcoholic anymore. Wow. It's awesome. What are you saying, Olivia? Why is acupuncture the only reason oh, you work here? When I was sending emails over and over again to try to get in touch and get a job, um, I wasn't hearing back, so I was like, okay, I need to find a different way. So I went through everybody that you guys followed on Instagram to try and find an indirect link, <laughs> and it turned out my godmother had done acupuncture one time on someone who worked at Teddy Fred. Oh, that's how... Yeah. Hey. <laughs> That's so funny. What? <laughs> yeah, bro. But I remember, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I remember it was Chu who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who was like, hey, you should get a hold of them. Yeah, I had never met him before. Oh. So wait, why did he recommend you? Because he was like because really emphatic about it. My godmother texted his wife mm -hmm. and was like, how do you, like, I, my goddaughter says that you follow these people on Instagram. And she was like, <laughs> yeah, he actually works with them. So. That's so funny. And then I got in touch with Chu. Yeah. yeah, he was like, yo, there's this, this, this young, or like this girl who she's really super talented. He was like Aww. talking you the fuck up. Oh my God, that is so nice. <laughs> and then we, and I was like, okay, I'll try her as an internship if Aww. you recommend her. And I was like, God, no, please. No recommendations by friends. Yeah, bro. Then, then Olivia came and that. I put her ass to work and she was great. And I was like, okay, I love her. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. But yes, acupuncture did something. <laughs> okay, it's done something. Mm -hmm. Shout out acupuncture. One point. By the I, way, please don't try to social engineer my right. life. Anyone listening to get right. a job here. Thank you. It only works once. It works, mm. yeah, just for Maybe it's once. Let's live it at once. Oh, you social no, engineered my life, no. baby? I mean, no, you, you offered me, but... I was, that was. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but since you mentioned um, Shannon Bedore, I love the OC Housewives, by the way. We've been, like, I've been catching up, and I just <coughs> decided to start on season seven because I didn't know how far back to go. And it's been amazing. Yeah. Pretty and we're now on season 15. Oh my God. It's kind of, our life is almost caught up. Literally, <laughs> our life and time, it's like the hourglass of your life. Except it goes down a drain. <laughs> I instead love of a it. Sand catcher. Well, anyway, um, listen, we've got, oh, my mom's calling in a little bit later. Apparently, my mom saved the uh, butterflies. <laughs> the butterflies went from. No. <laughs> oh, I, th I thought they were already endangered, though. No. No, it's actually the opposite of everything that you're saying. Well, not that she was responsible, but um, yeah, no. The, because this year was well. like the biggest butterfly showing. Well, that's what your mom told had us, so maybe while. we should grill her on that because they have uh, been designated as an endangered species now. No, I thought it was good news. Yeah, sorry. I just want to say a few people are saying that's their favorite one, and I kind of think it's becoming my favorite one too because the OC ladies are like the realest. Yeah. They right. get like dirty and messy. And watching Beverly Hills after watching the OC, it's like just watching some fake, phony, fake bitches, surface level nonsense. <laughs> that's the original, is it not? The OC is, that, is the original. That's like the first oh, one dude, that all so the rest good. are spinoffs of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the w the first housewife ever, her name's Vicky, 
and she finally now got booted off because she got <laughs> so nuts. She was she telling the so other girls, nuts. this is my show. <laughs> I'm the first housewife, and we don't do that around here. Like, two of the housewives were making out, getting trashed and making out, which is crazy. And she's like, I don't like the kissing. Yeah, this is my show. It's a little bit homophobic. And then she says to Andy Cohen during the tell-all, we love Andy Cohen. Oh, Andy Cohen, who made this whole series, she turns to him and says, Andy, don't forget where, where you, you come from. from. Yeah. And he's like, bitch, don't you forget where you came from. And he kicked her off the show. <laughs> it's awesome. That's awesome. I'm telling you, this shit's crazy, bro. I don't know how you find the, the, a group of such crazy people. Yeah, the peak of this franchise, the OC <laughs> one, was when uh, Vicky was dating this guy, Brooks, and oh he, he faked having cancer. Yep. Is fucking nuts. <laughs> he seriously faked having cancer. <laughs> and then some of the other ladies started to doubt him because, like, things weren't adding up. And, and Vicky was, like, <coughs> going ballistic on them. Like, are you, are you blaming my boyfriend of faking cancer? Like, what kind of, like, toxic, sick person you have to be to accuse someone who's going which through cancer kind of, right in a of way, faking cancer? So crazy. And it's like, but he did. <laughs> At first, it seemed like they were, like, overstepping so hard by accusing him of faking it. But then you start to believe because like they have these create these incredible like doctor recommendations he's not showing up to. He suddenly stops doing chemo and says he's doing taking some random drug that's supposed to do something. And one of the girls is like, that's what I have in my beauty cream. That does nothing <laughs> yeah. for cancer. And it just starts snowballing. And then you start to believe, dude, he's faking cancer. Yeah. And then it turns out. Vicky was in on it a little bit. I'm telling you, this is high drama like True. you guys never imagined. Yeah. Now, to, to what end? To he, what was end? the benefit? It, 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 he ended up manipulating, uh, emotional ma manipulation. He, oh, so he was, he was very toxic to her, so nobody liked him. And so his whole sympathy. time on the show, he was kind of like a villain and uh, getting a lot of hate. So he was trying to get sympathy, basically. I mean, he's, Vic, <laughs> Vic just made it so much worse yeah. for himself. Well, Vicky is <laughs> super rich and he's a deadbeat. <laughs> he's like unemployed deadbeat. Okay. And I think she was always on the verge of of uh, breaking up with him because her, her daughter hated him. All of her yeah. friends hated him. Everyone on the show hated him. And so he spun this cancer story, I think, to yeah. keep, keep the juice flowing. Nice. And it worked for a minute. Right. He so, did right. get sympathy, but in the beginning, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> like he, he shouldn't have done it in the first what place. But getting that? caught is so embarrassing. Isn't, I, if I have to guess, it's maybe like ten or eleven. I don't know. Yeah, dude, I'm telling. That was one of the best, sh best shit ever, dude. And then um, some people were asking if I watch, if I watch Potomac. I do. I love it. Yeah, Potomac's good. And then I watch the Ultimate Girl Strip. Was um, so fucking, it's all she watches. <laughs> I'll be honest. So. Allie watches all of these as well. Oh. I, I don't really, but we ha we share an office, and so I'll oftentimes just being hearing it in the background. <laughs> is, is Potomac the one where one of their husbands was yeah. like very obviously gay and was like constantly getting caught like grabbing men's asses? Yeah, and stuff? no, oh, uh, that yes. was Potomac. Yeah, that is the Potomac. Australian guy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's that one <laughs> fucking awesome. I kept like hearing that. I'm like, what is going on? This show? actually yeah. he's insane. He actually, yeah. he got in huge trouble for groping one of the crew members yeah. on the yeah. production right. team. Right. Yeah. And he ended up suing him, and it became a plot point of the show. Uh, and then yeah, he like did it again or something. Husband, it, like right? just like kept yeah. happening. Yeah. yeah, that guy's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they find some wild people. Every time he get people. drunk, he would he would yeah. grab some dude's ass. I haven't watched Atlanta yet or New York. I said Atlanta, you got something to look forward to, Ella. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Enough about that. <laughs> so we got my mom calling in. Hassan owned Cobra Tate in yeah. a debate, which We're was awesome. Have your mom um, pretty soon here. Uh, we said 2.30, so maybe if we have something let's, yeah, shorter let's, than the Hassan thing. Let's uh, talk about something. Take I'll take a call from my mom, and then we'll do the period pain test. So um, we bought a little kit you put electrodes on your stomach mm -hmm. and you can turn up the voltage and it's supposed to simulate cramping period pain so that Ow, men geez. can feel it a little bit now we test wrote it on olivia yesterday so that she could tell us how accurate the pain was um it seemed, it seemed that you thought it was pretty close i think so what I was trying to explain earlier is that um, the electricity yeah. that comes off of these things that is causing your muscles to contract, that is very jarring, and that's not 
included, but like the pain mm. that is underneath the electricity, that is real. Ow. Different sensation, but similar pain level. There are two factors with this. Mm -hmm. There's one factor. Got it. That. Got it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, what was interesting is that a few of the guys tried it, and you guys said four was like, Pretty yeah. bad, right? Me and Ian tried it, and yeah, four was pretty rough. And it's six is the max? Eight, I believe, right? Oh, eight. Because Olivia was chilling at five. <laughs> yeah, pretty... we don't know how, because me and Ian, like, we didn't last that long once we had Really? It. Yeah. I was it just seems like, like fun. Out. It made me laugh. Tickled? Tickled. Oh, I find it funny. I'm curious. I've never tried this stuff, but um, so, I just gave birth with no epidural, so... Queen shit. The, the <laughs> contractions were... Real. So I'm wondering if the ladies should try it first to see how they do and then see what... I think we should do 1-1. One, 1-1? One. One, one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's, I'm sure this is going to be a wild ride. Um, is my mom... She said my mom's on. Uh, she's not yet. Uh, she has the link. I'm trying to get her on right now. We did say 2.30, which is seven minutes from now. So if we got any other like we got videos or shorter little things we can do we have um fresh keemstar cringe <laughs> oh we do <laughs> no that's as, right we do that's like a faucet that just remains on all the time <laughs> hey she calls that faucet buddy you're wasting water uh here's keemstar jumping into the lake with his bandana on <laughs> is there sound it's not no Dude, you really swim in your full outfit and tennis shoes? <laughs> and bandana? I love the last minute, the last minute grab to hold it on. You pay attention, he puts his head, his hand. Oh, he's like, oh no, can't, can't fly up. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Love that for him. Cool. Um. Also, here's a stream that was from yesterday, just to keep you guys updated on all the happenings here. He's with Brantley. By the way, you guys did some intel. Brantley graduated in... We, we, don't, we don't know for sure. It's just we have, we have reverse engineered and find it uh, highly incredible that she's she would 21. Be of drinking age. And and your best guess would be that she's at what age? Maybe 20. Maybe 20. 19. 19. Like that. But obviously Is we don't know for sure, Probably. but the, the timeline doesn't really make sense. So. Okay, okay. I don't want to be live Oh, I'm going to invite Hannah see if she does it. I guess. The Hannah we know? Yeah. <laughs> She's here. What's happening? Bro. <laughs> it's less about what's happening, just the, the angles and the expression. The freshly just for men beard. Well, let me show you this photo. This is important context. She posted this and she said she referred to the three of them as Daniel's angels. Oh, God. They call them Daniel's God. charges. They're going to regret this so bad. And then what's okay. interesting is that Keemstar said in a in an interview that he's in a polyamorous relationship. Uh, before you do yeah. that, why don't you just have a seat right over there, please? City has and girlfriends. they don't look very old. Yeah. What was on the agenda tonight? <laughs> but, but, so she's, so one of the girls who joins is one of the, of Daniel's angels. <laughs> the Hannah we know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hannah from She's Bio. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you got a clip. Hannah from Science. Hannah, Hannah we Hannah know. From Hannah, Hannah, Hannah Baker, dude. <laughs> Hannah Baker. What is this angle? <laughs> like this. Hannah from Homeroom. The Hannah we know. <laughs> uh, that's gonna come no, in so no. handy one day. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my God. What up, Hannah? Oh my God. Can I give some background on this? Oh my God. I just caught this because I wasn't at work. Leftovers was live. I was at the doctor's office, and I was standing in line for the pharmacy. And so I had to screen record this on blast so the audio was good. So everyone's looking at me while <laughs> this is on. What are you watching? Yeah. <laughs> you seem pretty confident on the internet. That's pretty awesome that you are the one that recorded this. The price we pay for uh, fresh memes. Yeah. yeah. 
Team Star always thinks I get all of them, but this is this is one of my first originals. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look cute with your little getup. Harassing people. You look cute in your little getup. All around the world. Oh. <laughs> what getup? You can can't even see what she's wearing. Yeah. But you get might that be that money. Some... Get that money. Get that I money. I was just hanging out with you guys. I was like, they make me so happy. Look at their smiles. Look at their faces. Love these people. Oh, we love you. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like a beautiful day out there, though. You guys just answering some questions? So weird, dude. Yeah, pretty much. we're doing a little Q&A. We were bored. We're waiting for my friend to come over from Toronto. All right. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Oh, I gotta get back to work, but I'm definitely Can here watching you guys. Something? Like, who, who does this? Who does it like this? It's yeah. his. It's his. It's like behind okay. his shoulder. Yeah. I have to listen. I like have. I have like to outright. defend him. I have to defend him with that because he has the most steadiest hands in the game. Oh, absolutely. I do not his know how hands. he keeps his video. It might be a secret that we're, we have. He's got a selfie into. stick. Selfie bro. stick. That's yeah. No, it's not a selfie stick. We th we thought that before, but we ended up watching footage and we could see the reflection. It was his hand. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, he's just well, magic with it. He's probably got. You, you've heard of that one. Uh, a Buddhist uh, master in India who put his hand up for to show his reverence to God, and he <laughs> kept it up for so long that it got like rigor mortis and stayed there. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's going on with Kim. <laughs> Maybe he has rigor mortis set in in his hand. Yeah, pretty amazing. <laughs> he's just a reptile. Monk with this is evidence hand. that he's not human. Frozen. Why don't you take a seat right over there? Yeah, let me show you a picture. <laughs> It's really interesting. <laughs> this this reminds me of Keemstar in a way. Here he is, guru wizard guy, has his hand in the air all his adult life. Oh my god! Yeah, he never put it. He held it up for so long oh. that it became locked in that position. That's reminds crazy. me of that Elden Ring character who does that. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there's the guy that's like always like. Oh, Elden Ring, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but you could if you slip the phone in there, that'd be a good selfie situation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So shout out. Shout out. Uh. Okay. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I got it. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. You can't be serious. I just I can't believe what we're watching. <laughs> I got it. Dude, you can't be serious. Okay, let me see. Let me see what's up in here. Are you sure you can see? Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Team Star, shut up. <laughs> Alright, your your mother is here if we want to go to something yeah, wholesome yeah, yeah. after uh, That's it. after that. Just a little Nightmare. zap for ya. <laughs> a little bit of a... <clears throat> a little bit of a pick-me-up. Yeah. Alright, I'm letting her in right now. Here we no. go. My mother, ladies and gentlemen, Donna Klein, joining us, the butterfly audio, queen herself. Audio, Hello, audio. mom. Hi, babe. Hello. I thought you saved the butterflies. Why are they endangered now? You know, the butterflies were always in trouble, and that's why I was so a or am active in in doing something about it. But. You know, when it, when I was on your on your podcast, I was trying to scream from the from the rooftops that the monarchs are in big trouble. But didn't I read that the last year was like the biggest year on rec or recent record for the monarchs? There was a bump in their population over the winter on the uh, the monarchs that were west of the Rockies, but it's bad. It's really bad. And you know what? There's a, an international union for the cons conservation of nature. They're called the IUC, IUCN. And they put uh, the monarchs on the endangered species list. But you know what? The fish and game, the U.S. fish and game, they recognize they're in trouble and they're endangered, but they're not on the list yet. They probably won't be till um, 2024. What are we going to do about it? Is the COVID well, COVID related? Is this COVID related? Uh, and if so, what, do about it? what are we going to do about it? <laughs> what are we going to do about? Well, I mean, plant plant milkweeds, uh, oh. support candidates that that are <laughs> are um, active in 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 putting them on the endangered list. It's just you know the problem is 
it's it's the pollution it's it's the greenhouse it's there's so many issues um show me the notes how many notes you got for today i well i have two pages show me show me show me (laughs) just front and back yes yeah okay nice oh front and back four pages (laughs) yeah that's four pages wow so you have a you have a lot to share I don't want to forget anything. And so let me ask you this. What's the benefit for the butterflies of going on the endangered species list? Because the government will put money aside to make a difference oh, because oh, they're at that. Mm-hmm. You know, between log, you know, we, we have herbicides and pesticides, you know, that round out stuff. It's, it's horrible. It's just like a blanket over the farmlands to kill insects and it kills it kills everything and then of course you've got got global warming and um you know it it's it's just awful can i ask you a question mom yeah we were having a debate earlier on the show and i had the hot take that old people are holding on for too long to like big job like important jobs i'm talking about in politics i'm talking about like doctors lawyers all this stuff they're hogging opportunity. They're not passing the baton, especially in government. Uh, are, is that ageism, or, or do you agree with me? As an old person, as an AARP member, you know, I, I think you need to go with the best qualified. Being that said, there's a time when you have to realize that you're not as sharp as you used to be. And it's, I think it's really important to be supportive of someone who believes the same views as you and to help them. But I think it's time to move aside and-, and There you them. have it, from an old person herself. And mom, uh, more, this is a more extreme opinion, but I do want to get your take. Uh, should, I was thinking, can we euthanize old people at 80? Thoughts? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> no, okay, that's too far. We've got Violet too far. green, right? You're going to eat. You there. We'll turn us into food. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or we'll turn you into glue or something productive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be, that would be bad. But do you, know, th- do you know that there are 41,000 species that are facing extinction and, and um, are waiting to get on that list? Mm-hmm. The U.S. Food, uh, food and Gain. Um you know, who's to say they're less important than the monarch, but, right. you know, it, it's it's really bad. And and in the past 10 years, I think the scientists are really worried because in the past 10 years, the decline has been so rapid. Can we see those nails, Mom? <laughs> Show the nails off. Okay. You want to talk about the nails? What do we got going on there? Pearl White? <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about butterflies. <laughs> but we're doing both. Okay. Well, Pearl what do you want to... What? Are, are they had... acrylic? Are they glued on? So long. Or are they natural? I, I just had her cut cut them down. Really? No, these, are, these are my nails underneath, and they they paint stuff over it to make them... So it's them half stri- real, half glued on? No, they're not glued on. They're my nails underneath. But oh, they, that's a, your real nail? Yeah, it's my nail, oh, but what they the hell? over it with some kind of like an acrylic uh, thing, and it makes my nails strong so they don't got break. It, got it, got it. Wow, real nails. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> incredible. Incredible. And how do you open a soda with nails that long? You use a utensil. Oh, you, just, you don't even try. Yeah. What other things do you have trouble with with n- nails that long? <laughs> what? what? Buttons. Buttons. I thought she was going to say butt. <laughs> yeah. What <laughs> about know. wiping? Uh, you know, jewelry, like if you have to hook um, a necklace or something. Yeah, jewelry but, is impossible. Yeah, but Ela does raise a good question. How do you wipe with nails that long? I cannot. Bu- well, first of all, I have a bidet. Okay, good. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Beardo. I mean, it's a valid concern. I don't know what's so weird about that. 
Oh, okay, well, so bro. so um, the butterflies are in trouble. We need to plant more. Oh, God, let me th let me let me spitball here. What if we go after the species ahead of the monarchs and speed their extermination so that we can get the monarch higher on the list? Is that a solution? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, you're not willing to do whatever it takes, Mom. <laughs> so I don't think these monarchs are going to last. Well, they better. They, they. I mean, they're like carrying the coal mine. It's just really, it's just really bad. You know, this is like the. Um, I'm trying to find where I wrote this, but this is like the sixth uh, extinction that that is taking place uh, in in our world. And but it's the you mean a first you mean a ever, great, uh, yeah a mass extinction event. Yeah, yeah, it's the sixth mass mass extinction event, but this one's man-made. <laughs> it's all our fault. Well, that also could be propaganda. No, no it, it's not. Oh, okay. Not. I mean, what it's do you got not. There, Dan? Dan's trying to throw something up. Go ahead. Is there any? Uh, yeah, there's there's some expendable. Could we like maybe any of these that? Mom, go? can you see this list? So these are all the endangered animals above the monarch butterfly, and we're just wondering which ones can we just eliminate? Maybe the black rhinos, if we just got rid of those. I mean, those aren't in the United States, so I guess those wouldn't be prioritized. I mean, go down to the endangered. These ones are all fine. But there's a lot of endangered ones that we could get rid of just straight up, you know? Right. You. Blue whale? Who needs that? Thank you, what? Lena. Oh, okay. No. Oh, Olivia. You. Olivia loves Black-footed ferret. Bonobo? Who, with the fucking bonobo? No, no. Wait, what's going on here? Are you afraid of whales? I don't know. I just hate whales. You what? do? No, no, no. Like, oh. love the whales. Absolutely do not want them to be extinct. They just Oops, terrify sorry. me because they're so big. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah, they're huge. The idea, have you seen photos of people swimming next to blue whales? I, that's like my dream. I want to do Ooh, that someday. Take they are, it. They have it. It's blue whales, my yeah. dream. All it has to do is open its mouth and you're gone forever. They don't do that, though. They won't do it, though. No. They don't do that. But it could We're happen. We're going to connect, you know? It could. No, they, I don't think a, the blue whale's <laughs> ever eaten a person. But, I don't but think. it could really easily. <laughs> but it won't. Well, what scares me is sometimes they breach near boats, and that would fucking, that would kill everybody. Well, they jump out of the water because they want to get the barnacles off their body. Oh, is that right? That's interesting. Yeah, that's uh, that's a part of it. They're just trying to get the barnacles. <laughs> Can you open that list, uh, Dan, please again? Wow, Mom, a lot Mom, of people find whales scary. How interesting. Mom, pick five I animals on here that we can extinct right now. No, I can't. I can't. Then you're just. Then you don't care about the butterflies. Oh, are really in trouble too. Go down to the bottom because these these animals are all too cool. I keep thinking about Theodore. He says the word extinct so funny. It's like extinct. It does something. What's a earwawadi? Extinct. Oh, it's a dolphin. What? We're gonna we're gonna become extinct because with the global warming, you know, it's yeah. it's really effect on on people's lives uh, uh, on these, the way here we were listening to the daily about the salt lake hold on, city hold on. black spider monkey do we need that yeah yeah they're oh, important it's a monkey? oh, oh that's, so cute. that's pretty cool yeah we need him um the <laughs> the salt lake of salt lake city is uh drying and apparently mm -hmm. If that one goes completely dry, it's going to be like a nuclear bomb that went off, they said. A new, uh, ecological nuclear yeah. bomb. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a whole domino. What about, uh, god damn, these are all pretty dope animals. This is a problem. This is kind of hard to decide. Yeah. Keep going at, keep going. Polar What's bear. a southern? Oh, southern rock hybrid penguin? Okay, let's take a look at this. Eh, he's dope. Oh, that guy's he's so dope. cool. Yeah, we got to keep him. I, maybe, mom, I'm learning that the, butter, the monarch butterfly may be <gasps> the least Beluga. cool of all these animals. No, a no, beluga no. whale? How am I gonna? Am I gonna book a, 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 a oh, beluga? Yeah. I'm down with the beluga yeah, whale. they're so cute. That's a good size. Okay, that's an awesome size. Yeah, belugas are so they're super sweet. smart. Super sweet. Super all, smart. All whales are smart. A, okay, what about a plains bison? What's I know a you white rhino? You know you don't like bison. That you say you think they're scary, right? Those Look are at scary. them. They're like fuzzy and cute. I know. They're yeah. so Sherpa. cool. But, there's so. Animals well, you got you got to pick five, mom. So get to work. <laughs> you got to decide who dies and who lives. <laughs> Keep going. No, I uh, can't do. God, all these are so a brown bear. I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of a brown bear for yeah. monarch this is butterflies. So sad. Yeah. Yeah, this is really sad, actually. Uh, the history of the, of uh, 
of the bears in their in their hibernation the other day. Do you remember that? What? The the, the story about the the bears and their hibernation that they they can't reproduce unless they have twenty percent body fat. Keep going, Dan. Mm. Oh, I, I didn't hear about that. I told oh, the monarch butterfly's on the list. Wait, it's already there. Well, actually, that, I, I think. Yeah, but that's not the food, the fish and game. Yeah, this, this is World Wildlife War. Yeah, right? this is just yeah, an organization. Yeah. Not, yeah. So they're not they're not stepping up. No, no, they they recognize that they're in trouble. They're two steps away from Keep extinction. Going, not seals. Yeah, I know. Deep what the fuck, oh. seals? Aww. The whole coastline is like full of seals. Well, Char. we've gone far enough down that it stopped saying endangered. So maybe these are just oh, oh. these are least concerned. What? Well, Oh, These wait. were, and now we don't even have This is just okay. a list of animals. Okay. <laughs> and, 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 All of them. <laughs> and additional animals you might enjoy. Just, here's a seal for you, everybody. Just take a look at that. Yeah, you can find yeah. a seal at pretty much any beach in California coastline. They just yeah. chill. Okay, okay, so we went down too far, but... Unfortunately, I'm unable to kill any of these endangered species, yeah. Mom, so... It really was you looking like... Last Monarchs year, kind of at this time, I, I had I gotta agree. I think we, we took a vote, Mom. The monarch is the least, uh, the one that we would probably kill if, if it came down to it. You need pollinators, Ethan. Last year at this time, I released about 50-some-odd uh, monarchs. And this year, you know how many I've re released? How much? Ten. Oh, what does it mean? It means they're in trouble. I don't know. That crypto shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Well, maybe. Uh, listen, if they... my milkweed um, hydroponically. You want to see my my milkweed? Let's see your hydroponics. Yeah, you yeah, that love green, to. that cushy yeah. kush. Check this out. Let's see, this. Let's see those hydroponics. I've got oh. a big Look cool. at that! I even flowers on them. It's a really great way to not have to worry about aphids. And just really control it so that they don't get infested with protozoan parasites or uh, tachinid flies. Mm. And my, the monarchs that I released, well, the one that I released at your house for your belated birthday, mm. that, I mean, they were huge. They were healthy and they were huge, but there was only 10 of them. Mm. It's been so bloody hot out here. Right. You know, and, and I even had to bring the cage into the house because it was so hot, they would have died in their mm. chrysalis had I not done that. All right. Well, we're rooting for them, Mom. We're rooting for you. Unfortunately, you know, it is a very crowded list of really cool animals. So, no. just saying. Well, you know what they said. <laughs> you know, it, it, no one did anything until uh, there was no one left when they came for you. Oh, that's so just, that's that's a, that's a that's like. <laughs> Isn't that about like Jews and stuff like or about yes, white a, people not doing shit to help like minorities? What do we do well, about it? Think, what does that mean? How are the butterflies helping me? What does that mean? <laughs> it's supposed to be what? like well, first all, I didn't well, help though, first they came for the uh, Jews and I didn't say anything and then they came for the gypsies and I didn't do anything and then they came for me and there's no one left to speak for me. Right. But what did the and butterflies then, do for me? Well, after we go extinct, the butterflies live happily ever after. Yeah. It's a weird... Right, if we all died, they'd be like, sick. <laughs> well, you know, the pollinators, without them, you won't have fruit trees. You won't have, you know, foods. That is true. We need the pollinators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pollinators, too. So, and they're the most recognized... Uh, butterfly in the entire world how can you let something so beautiful and majestic go extinct it is very magical when you just see how it goes from a chunky little um caterpillar <laughs> to this beautiful butterfly it's like it's like watching magic it is it, it they're they are they're they're like little angels flying and fluttering and um you know it, it the the counting is kind of difficult it's easier to count them when they're in mexico to know you know how they're doing because they cluster in in such a small area but in on the coastal side it's really hard to you know figure out the numbers and 
man, they've really declined. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. um, so, no. Do you know it's, who else has declined, Mom? What? You know who else has declined? You, because your last name is Klein. Declined. So I... All right, thanks, Mom, for calling in, all right? We're going to save those damn goddamn butterflies with the last fucking thing we do. <laughs> All right. Yep. Right there. Right on. We can't hear you. Right to all of the, you know, everyone in office, because we we need what we really need is we need the government to have safe havens and plant milkweed. And they have to do something along the roadways because roadkill, you know, you finally get these beautiful, majestic butterflies and then they're they're getting smashed into your windshield. What are we going to do about it? Plants along the roadway, these beautiful plants, and that attract the butterflies, and then they get killed. Ow. 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 There's All right. We're working on it. A plant above the highway, so it's like a it's like a safety bridge for all these pollinators and insects. Here, enjoy this, Mom. Uh, you are the butterfly queen. <laughs> Can you see that? They, they. I got um, a beautiful piece of artwork with uh, with monarch butterfly. Oh yeah, one of the oh, yeah. sent you some art. That was nice. Yeah. Anyway, mom, with... you got you, you do good. Uh, get out there and uh, save those goddamn butterflies. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so Ethan, oh. we're gonna start with you. Okay. What does that mean? Plant some milkweed in that gorgeous yard of yours. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's. Let's put our money where our mouth is. Plant milkweeds. Right, Mom. You're asking me to put my money where my mouth is. You put your money where my mouth is. Right. Oh. Fine. I'll give you some of my plants. What does plant that mean? <laughs> well, she's, uh, I'm just joking around. She says put your money where your mouth is. And meanwhile, I'm saying, I mean, death to the monarchs because those other animals deserve this club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, seals or monarch? I mean, you know what I mean? The seals Blue were, whale or weren't monarch? actually extinct, I don't think. The oh, yeah, that was a... It was too low. Or like a black rhino, an I African elephant, or was. a monarch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the blue whale was on the list. Yeah, blue whales are endangered. Yeah. I'm saying, would you kill... the? Who would you take, monarch or blue whale? That's not a fair decision to... Yeah, you I have mean, to decide. Oh I, my God, you guys! All right, really, Mom. Thank you so much for the call. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll plant some milkweed and we'll update on the show. Okay. <laughs> you want to plug your cameo? Oh, um, what, what should I say? I, I do cameos, and I love you. <laughs> You guys and I have to tell you since I've been doing cameos I have learned so much because the people that request cameos from me tell me interesting things and request interesting things and I I take it to heart and I do a lot of investigative uh, you know I do research before I talk to them because right. I want it special that's cool that's so, so sweet that is just incredible Donna Klein on cameo and uh, it's just, you're going to get a heartfelt, potentially a 20-minute video for my mom. <laughs> I've seen some of those. Man. They go and go and go. We love that. All right. Well, I love you guys. I'll see you Saturday. Okay. All right. Bye, Mom. Love Bye. you. Thanks for the call. The monarchs are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. What are we going to do? What are we, we going to do about it? Is this COVID related? <laughs> I'm growing my hair back, people. <laughs> Yeah, um, also, so let's do the, the period pain simulator now. Before we do, there's a few more people watching now. I just want to remind everyone that tomorrow, Saturday, we will be live streaming a reaction to Tippy Toes here for members only. So it will be at 1, we said. At 1? For live members at 1. Only. Thank right. you, thank you. So please join us tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. I got to use the bathroom. Go ahead. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we got to save those monarchs, guys. I'm telling you what. Just crazy what's going out there. Oh, check this out. Does this give you icky vibes? This was like a, a wild James Charles found in the background of this dude dancing. Check this shit out. Wait, 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 Look at this. 
Dude, he's looking too closely, bro. He's not missing a second of the action, huh? I now understand the root of the problem. Look at those. But these other guys aren't even paying attention. Oh. Damn, James is so thirsty, bro. Oh. What do you think about all that? It's just funny how he keeps getting caught. Just like the smallest thing now. If it wasn't James Charles, I wouldn't. Nobody would care. I wouldn't look twice. But the fact that it's James Charles makes it so good. Uh, like, what the fuck? Nobody else is even paying attention. Look at. Have you ever even stared at anything that intensely in your life, bro? <laughs> he's wearing sunglasses. Yeah, he's like they don't know I'm watching them. <laughs> Desperation. What do you guys think about all that? It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Horror movie vibes. Yeah. All right, so we are getting people wired up. So Zachy Baby's gonna go first, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we're strapping Zach up now to the electroids. Yeah. Pretty strong. We just uh, actually, I don't want to scare Zach. He's a little worried about this, but oh yeah, Dan Zach were, was spooked straight. Yeah, yesterday. Zach was really. He was saying he didn't want to do it. Yeah, Zach was like, "I'm not doing it." But I was he, like, "Wow, okay." He's getting wired up now. <clears throat> now, just to be very clear to everyone. <clears throat> There are no shenanigans. We are not pressuring anyone to do something not comfortable with. We're not gonna surprise jump up the meter. This is all very careful, very consensual. <clears throat> stop means stop. Should we have a <clears throat> safe word? Safe word is, oh, just stop. Safe word is stop. Yeah, we're not doing like that. Stop! <laughs> yeah, stop is fine. Yeah, so there's there's no shenanigans, okay? We're only going up as far as the recipient is comfortable. I'm nervous. Can man. we get a shot of of them setting up there? Um, who's got the handheld? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. So, Zach, you actually look scared right now. You look scared straight. I'm pretty, I'm pretty nervous right now, dude. You watched me do it yesterday. I don't... That's a, I, um... I, uh... All right. Is that the same stuff that people use for like muscle therapy? This is, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've used it then. Where? On your back? On my back. When I was trying different things. Right, right. Okay, so Zach is getting straight. He is absolutely terrified at the moment. Well, Zach, you don't have to go up any higher than uh, you don't want to, okay, buddy? Okay. So let's take a look at the electrodes. Can you show it to the camera? Or oh, is it already on you? Yeah, it's on me. Do you mind lifting your shirt? You don't have to. We've got. He's got four total, two on each side. Yeah, they look too close together. Yeah. Oh, I see. You got to spread them out a little bit there. Good. I think that's good. Oh, my eyelids are so itchy. All right. I mean, you'll it's the weirdest eyelids. place to... I don't know. This is what happened last time. It's like the weirdest so place weird. to be itchy. And the skin there is so sensitive to yeah. them, you know? Ugh. All right, so you ready? All right. So it goes well, from one to eight, so I'm going to start low. Get, get, a, get a shot of um, <laughs> get a shot of the meter so we can see the, the intensity. And then okay. if you switch to Zach's camera, Ian, or would we have a good shot of that? Okay, all right. All right, I am activating. We are at level one. Okay, level one. So one shouldn't be too bad at all. Do you feel anything, Zach? No. no? Nothing, okay. All right, so I'm going to start. Is there like a key switch on there? Yeah. You just turn yeah, it mean, down. It'll take me a split second to turn it off. It's all. But hey, Zach, what if he accidentally turns it the wrong it's way? It's not that bad, it... Zach. Don't worry. Wait, what if he turns it the wrong way thinking he gets confused? Well, that could happen, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go ahead and move up to two, Dan. All right. We're increasing. <clears throat> Going up. You feel anything yet? No. Still not really? All right. We're at number two. Zach feels nothing. Sit on it for a moment. Nothing. You feel nothing. Okay. 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 We're gonna. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. Oh fuck. What are we weird, at? Man. What are we at right now? Just three. I feel like one and two don't work. It's yeah. Like nothing, and then. Oh, that's fucking weird. It's super man. light. Okay, Zach. Go ahead and describe <laughs> the uh, sensation. It's uh, tingly. Very tingly. Hmm. Okay. Are you experiencing any pain? You feel that? It's a little discomfort. Yeah. Okay. Your it's your a little discomfort. contracting. Yeah, I feel that. Okay. Four. Now keep in mind, Olivia got up to five and was still like doing okay, 
and said, <laughs> you know, that was kind of. Now you you said five was the. I said five. Uh, I'm not going to rehearsal. Six. I'm not going to school. <laughs> you know, like extracurricular. I can cancel at five. <laughs> I can't do anything at six. So wait, wait. At four, are is that like at a four? I'm I'm going to school. Oh, okay, God. so turn them I'm up going to, to four, Dan. All right, we're going to four. Here we go. So this is where. Oh, okay, <laughs> man. Woo! <laughs> ah! This is Olivia would go into work with this. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> this man. was me. <laughs> this was me yesterday. Yep. And also, you are bleeding as well. Yeah, I'm true. Bleeding? Right. Yeah. Now splash the bucket of blood on him, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Describe it, Zach. It's so it's like tingly, but like electric. Oh, it's weird. The, yeah, the electric <laughs> part. I like it. I like it, man. Are you willing to go up or are you done? What are we at? You're at four. I thought I'm at five. No, no, nope, you're at four. Take me to five, dude. But if I say stop, stop. Olivia stop. was she chilling on five, like just passively for like a few All minutes. Right, here we go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, ah! <laughs> That's fucking weird, man. Ah! <laughs> How you feeling? What do you feel? Oh, different. <laughs> are you going to school like this, or are you staying home? I ain't going to school like this, man. Yeah. Oh. Well, you still. Well, you're doing okay. I mean, we have more headroom. We yeah, no, you. Oh, I bet we do. Wait, just a reminder. At this point, Olivia says, "Oh yeah, I, I feel it now." <laughs> oh, okay. No, she said it about. No. Okay. So Zach, um, how, are you feeling like maybe it's time to move it up to a six, or are you? Take me to six, but if I. Oh stop, shit! I will, you don't have to worry about that. I will definitely. Stop All right, Zach is stop. going up to six. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, that's weird. Oh, okay, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. All right, all right. We're off. Wow. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow, six. All right, you made it to six. That's big. Those are big numbers. All right. I wonder how it will affect me since I have a big old stomach. You want to go next? I think right. one of the ladies should go next. I think because it's electricity that maybe isn't a, f a factor. I don't know. I I'm can gonna, look my, it up. My fat's going to get cooked. <laughs> I'm gonna get deep fried. Crispy. Does anyone want to us? Uh, uh, Sam's not doing it, so either okay. Olivia or uh, Lena or uh, uh, Lena, Olivia, or Ela. Anyone? I can do it. If okay, you guys Ela's uh, uh, Lena. Or is she getting up to it? Okay, Lena okay. will do it. Oh my God, my stomach is like still yeah, vibrating. Why don't you just come here? Okay, Lena's gonna get strapped in. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real fast. I'll be right back. My stomach is still like like vibrating and contracting. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Should we wait for Ethan or? No, yeah. I mean, we could. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to go to one. Okay. Starting out. All right, do you feel anything? No. So All that's right. it. One and two. He didn't feel anything. It wasn't until we got three okay. that he even started to feel it. So why don't we just skip to that? All right, so we're going to go to three. Oh. Okay, no, it's just tickly. It's not <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nervous. Uh, yeah, it's all like right. stopping it's the tickly. electricity. <laughs> so there's three. <laughs> <laughs> Very different response than Zach. It's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. We're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What are you feeling right now? It's, just, it's tickling me. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All right. So, so you want to go to four? Yeah, do it. All right, here we go. Yeah, go up. All right, we're going to five. It's tickling her. 
She's up to five now. So, wait, I want to ask. Funny? Five. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you want me to stop? No, it's just. Wait, 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 wait. Well, Lena, no, how did. Hey, what? No, wait. She wants to go up. I, I just want to know how does it compare to a normal period cramp? Um, I don't experience it that bad for me. I just get a little bloating. That's all. Oh, so, so this I've is. I never felt this. Okay, okay, all right. But, <laughs> but you're ready to go. This isn't painful. She's hand. Rip. <laughs> We're at five already. Okay. Zach only made it to six, and she's like, fine. Woo! Statistically, yeah. Okay, right. wow. <laughs> Match Zach, this, right? Yeah. All right, let's go. Six. <laughs> Lena's moving up to six. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I definitely feel it more. Oh, you trying to feel it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It feels like something's bouncing on my stomach. It's weird. Yeah. 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 You, you start to, like, you feel your muscles contract. Oh. Like, when you hit five for me. <laughs> what are you at six right I'm now? At six and she's chilling. <laughs> okay, maybe crank it up just one more. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're almost Woo! at the top. All right, here we go. Seven. Where are you running? Where are you running? <laughs> it's not <laughs> Wow, that's interesting. So no pain, okay, just yeah, yeah, it's just super tickly. Oh. Do you want to go for eight? You're right no, there. You might, back. you might be no, the only I one. Can. Okay, I don't think okay, I can. Okay, okay. We'll turn it off. I'm gonna. Wow, wow. Bravo. Warrior. That was funny. Now, Lena, um, no pain. No, not no, not really. It's just like a lot of pressure and like tickling. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's what I felt. It's interesting. So it doesn't. It's not reminiscent of a of a period cramp for you. Personally, no. You don't. You don't really get not that. Not for okay. me. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. There you have it. Lena is the new right. champion that's at the seven. Champ right now. Oh yes. <laughs> and she did it with just a laugh. And a and giggle. A smile. <laughs> and a smile the whole time. <laughs> no problem for Lena. Xena Warrior. Xena. Yeah. It sounds like Lena. People are saying she's a real life Disney princess. True. <laughs> real life Disney princess with a high uh, pain tolerance. <laughs> there it is. Built different. Lena. Are next, uh, subject for okay, now AB obviously has been through grueling training. He's boxed. <laughs> He's got that conditioning. How's your pain threshold there, AB? You think it's pretty good? Pretty high, yeah. Yeah, pretty high. So we expect great things of you. Yeah. All right, go ahead, crank yeah. it up. Just, just if you could, AB, describe the sensation and damn. As you raise it, tell us you're raising it, and then AB, if right. you could express. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna raise it slowly, but I'm gonna go all the way up to three to start because it does. People are saying they're not really even feeling it until three. So. All right. Okay. Okay. So here we go. And we're slowly <laughs> raising up. Whoa. Okay. And the first jolt is very shocking. All right, we're at three. What did you hit yesterday? I you went to four. I went to four and I stopped it. Okay. Doesn't seem like too much trouble for you there. Okay. This is three. Three. Okay, I'm a little afraid now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to four. <laughs> 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 He's vibrating. Ah, it's <laughs> weird. It makes your muscles contract. <laughs> 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 that was an involuntary sound. It makes me laugh. Okay. <laughs> right, well that three. is what uh that is what the cramp is, so Yeah. Alright, so five. You ready to go up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm good. All right, we're going to five. Okay, that's bullshit. I thought this was a normal chair. <laughs> Where the fuck is the back? Okay, ha, oh, oh. I yeah, I keep going. It's <sighs> weird. <laughs> yeah. Are you still on there? Yeah, we got right. when All I right, felt one. Of them. Okay. <laughs> so what are we at? Five? Red five. What did Lena go to? She went to seven, seven bro. Don't Fuck. Even, okay. Don't even try to compete. <laughs> All right. Good? Yeah. All right, we're going up to six. No! Oh! <laughs> now is it pain, A B? Or is that you're feeling? Is it pain? <laughs> <laughs> uh it's <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, should I stop? No, 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 keep going. Oh. One more. I'm fine. I don't feel anything. Wait, AB, is it pain you're feeling or just all No, it's just weird. Pain? It's just Okay, pain. okay, okay. Why is it bouncing around? <laughs> it's going from left to right. Oh, Dan, are you fucking with me? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no yeah, that, he's, not, he's, not, he's not. He's not. He's not. Okay. I remember doing that. Yeah. 
We are not fucking with it. Not fucking with it. It's just it's steady at six right now. Okay, but it is. I think it like pulses. Yeah, it's pulsing. Yeah, it does that. All right, do you want to try and match your girl? Yeah. Oh wait, this wasn't the match. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was about the one-on-one. So wait, he's going up to seven now. All right. All right. Here we go. Mama. Lord Jesus. <laughs> so, what's the if it's not painful? What is it you're feeling? <laughs> oh, it's like my no, no, no. It's like Sounds my like abs pain. are being forced yeah. to contract. Mm-hmm. I don't know how Lena was running though, because that's the last thing I want to do. I just want to like curl up. I know it's <laughs> weird that she was running. <laughs> All right, well, you have one level left, one AB. Power? Yeah, do it. Oh do it. shit! Just fucking do it. All right, three, <laughs> two, one. You're gonna shock me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is it maxed out? <laughs> We're maxed out. We're maxed out. <laughs> Are you grunting now? I wonder if he's just <laughs> lost the ability to talk. Remember when he fell off the chair? <laughs> Abby, can you talk? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Make sure. I'm good. All right, let's wind it down, Dan. Let's yeah, let's, right. let's wind it yeah. down. There. Wait, right. that thing's not even on, man. You know what? You know what's more painful is the the uh, the the rotating of it, how it, yeah. how it's bouncing. Because like you think you're at max, and then you go boop, and then like uh. knocks you. <clears throat> Woo! Ethan, you gotta try this thing. Oh yeah. fuck! I'm next. I mean. You don't have to be next, but... I think I'm next. definitely going to do it. Yeah. Should we do Ela next? <laughs> yeah, let's sure. do Ela Because you have pretty painful period cramps, right? No. Oh, you don't? Sometimes. Like, after birth, my periods were worse than mm. my normal ones. I see. But on the regular, not so bad. Oh, well, here we come. Yeah. We're going to put it on. Well done, AB. Very so impressive. Here. All the way to Abe. Oh, yeah. Wow-wee. Okay, we're setting Ela up here. You can compare it to childbirth. You're the only one in here that can compare it to right, child right. contractions. Right, so two of those going one side. But like, there's a specific spot, right? It's like. Well, I guess like kind of like one, two, and then one, two. Well. Doesn't matter where. You want to turn lower? it into. No, no, I think that's okay. That's, I think high. do no, it no. lower, and then they should be further like that, Dan. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. okay. And then same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so Ela is applying the electrodes. Electrodes. I have a lot of faith in Ela. She's got it. She's gonna handle it. I think so. I think so. Let me take a look. Okay, it's just too high because it's kind of over your ribs here. Maybe just a hair lower yeah. on the top ones. So it's not like yeah, over yeah, your yeah. ribs. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. But these are close. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, try to lower that one, maybe. I think it's okay. Okay. Here we go. So Ela is strapped in. This is gonna be a big one, guys. The only person here who has given birth. So Ela, as it goes up, just describe your experience. I'm curious, how does it compare to period cramps and childbirth contractions? Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna do the same that I did for AB. I'll just go. Yeah, to get the... a shot of her stomach. I'm I'll curious to... if it starts I'll... pulsating. I'll go to three because that's where the the pain seems to uh, start. So here we go. Alrighty. Ela. All right, that's you know, it's so here. funny. Like I, I did this like as a relaxing thing on my muscles, so I don't know. <laughs> Can you turn it's a little still. this way? So I just want to see, yeah. Yeah. All right. Good, so that's three. Okay. Yo, you feel it. Mm-hmm. And so not bad. No pain. Mm-mm. Just a little muscly. Just a little like well, Ela's not even affected at three. Alright, so I'm gonna go to four. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, Ela's feeling it. She's doing a little yeah, rocking, little devil horns. It's um, it's like yeah, it's like. And 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 does it remind you at all of period cramps or, or childbirth? Um, trying to think, not really. Not really. It just feels like you're being electrocuted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. That, that that was a question I was wondering. All right, so <clears throat> let's go to five. Yeah. Yeah. All right, going to five. Ugh. Go. Ow. Oh, oh, we have an owl. Ow. We've got an owl from Ela. Yeah, that's not, it doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good? No. Ow. Oh, I see your stomach kind of. Yeah. Oh, there. yeah. Yeah. That doesn't feel good. Um, it, it is the first time like gets you, but then you get used to it. Yeah. yeah. So you're Ugh. feeling okay now? Yeah. 
You want to go up or you want to call it? Yeah, let's go up. Okay. Is that first what are we going to? Six. Six? This is, now, this was Zach's max right here. It seems like the six and seven e. get you the hardest. All right, that's six. Ugh. Hila's giving a ugh. She's ow. This the best of anybody, Say so. ow. What are we going to do about it? Ow. What are we going to yeah. do about it? Now, when you have contractions, you just want to breathe. <laughs> Just breathe. Just like... Breathe. You've trained your whole life for this. Yeah, I was breathing while Lena was running. That's what confused me. Right. But she was getting tickled. I'm not tickled, yeah, so true. it's different. Seems she had the most fun of anyone <laughs> being electrocuted. All right, let's go up. All right, we're going to seven. Oh, Hila's going to seven. Go. That's seven right there. Wow, you didn't even flinch on that one. No, and I would say it, it seems is... like seven to eight, maybe not that bad. Based on, 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 I just, AB didn't really react, but. I mean, I will tell you that the, when I was having contractions, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't talk, sorry, not breathe. So still, I couldn't talk. So it's much worse than, the, I, I'd imagine it's much worse. Mm -hmm. than the, and you can still talk and breathe. I can still talk. But does the pain remind you? That's what I'm, or is it just totally different? It's totally different. Okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah. But you want right, to go for it? All right, let's just do it. All right, We're wow, there. Ela. Might as well. All right, here we Ela. go. To the max right now. Three, two, one. There it is. We're maxed out. I didn't notice. No response. No difference. Mm -hmm. No difference. Ow. You Ow. made it all the way to eight, you legend. No, I can chill like that. You can yeah. chill? Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Queen. Bring her down. Bring her down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's soft. Wow. <laughs> Easy. It's just weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's my you, turn. You're I, gonna be. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> now I'm concerned. I'm gonna look like a I'm giant concerned baby. For you. There. Yeah. And by the way, here I want you guys to actually see my stomach here because. Okay. Well, I want Ela to see. Oof. I need Ela's support. I am concerned for you. Can you put the tape? Okay. Yeah, let's get those electrodes going, guys. All right. Can you rel I think your legs down. Are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. Okay. <laughs> no. I don't know how fat is going to interact with this. All right. There you go. So, so this goes on one side. Okay. All right. Let's tear. Oh, no, no. Have them going. Have the wires going outwards. So like, right, right. Coming in from. Go like this. Those, those no. both are on the same side. Oh, oh yeah. This yeah. two are one side. Yeah. yeah. That I mean, I, I, I just remembered I was doing, I was trying to do this to ease my back pain. It's like a relaxing thing. I wonder how high they went. But I didn't go high, like three, right, eight, so, like, look maybe at five. Okay, are you getting a good shot of this? Here, let me turn towards you. Wait, don't turn it on yet, Dan. I'm so scared. I'm going to be a giant fucking yeah, baby right yeah. now. <laughs> Zach, what did you get to? A oh, six. You got the six. Uh, Lena got the seven. Hila and AB both got all the way up to eight. But all with right. very different reactions. <laughs> all right, so do you want me to just go to three? Because again, three seems just to be where you Just slowly go up. Just slowly uh, go yeah. up. Yeah. Slowly go up and stop at three. Here we go. That's one. Ow. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't do it. It doesn't do anything. And then I'm going up slowly. One and two. There. Oh, let me get my mic. One and two. There's no feeling. All right. Uh, ah! 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 <laughs> what is that? Three. Four, three. No, it hurts. <laughs> my fat is like cooking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I knew it. It? it hurts so bad though. I knew. Oh, it feels like it's pulling my hair. <laughs> ah! I, there's no way that it didn't. This hurt like really bad. <laughs> wait, why does this hurt so bad? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Put it down. Put it down. 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 Wait, Low, lower it. Off, it off. <laughs> wait. Okay. Let me move these over a little bit because this uh, one didn't hurt that bad, <laughs> and these ones were like killing me. Oh, you have okay. to put them like okay. on your. Your uterus is down here. Your uterus Low. is all the way yeah, down I here. I did mine a little high too. I think you want to go lower. I need to redo, cause that, that, something didn't feel right about that. <laughs> no, it, Serious. I think that's how it feels, Ethan. What do we no, do but about this it? side was fine. Okay, but they pulsed it, so maybe that's why. That would be an epic prank if none of us turned it on. <laughs> Dude, I was like, there's no way that you guys. Dude, that felt so fucked up. Dude, that would be a good prank. You guys aren't doing that, right? Silly no, no. I saw you. Let's
Thought I'm such a badass. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Right, go back up go. to three. Go back up to back three. Back up to three in three, two, one. But do it slow, I think. I was hoping. I <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking way it hurt you guys this much. It does, yeah. I think it's like, it's just like... It's no weird. Twitching. It. Bro, no way. It's very bro. uncomfortable at first, but you can't get used to it, right? But it is painful. I don't doubt it. I, I'm sure it hurts. All right, try going up to four. All right, here we go to four. Ah! <laughs> turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Oh my God, bro. There's no fucking way. There's no way that you guys it didn't, it didn't hurt you that much. We will have no children if you had to be pregnant. No, I'm telling you, dude, that was not right. Please. You guys aren't fat. I it had something to do with being fat. Okay. Nope, we're not. Bro, what the fuck? Wouldn't it be the opposite? Like, fat gives you some cushion, I feel You would like. think, but that's it's... What I, thought, I mean, that's what he thought. He was oh he my was god, you guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> I swear to god, that hurts so bad. Hell nah. Hell fucking nah. Ow. That's so funny. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. And what about hairy stomach? You have a hairy stomach, Zach, right? Yeah. Because I think maybe the hair felt like it was hurting. I'm just saying all you guys... I have, have hair. Have it's just like blonde, you know? I have hair. You want to do it to Dan? Well, Dan's definitely going to have to do it, but... Yeah. You don't want to try one more, Ethan? Are you oh, done? Hell no, bro. <laughs> I was like, the three's okay, and I went up to the four, and it... <laughs> Bro, it just didn't feel right. You gotta let it sit. I know yeah, it's shocking at first. Yeah, you gotta let it first. sit. And then you get yeah, used that's, to it. Yeah, that's what I was... The electricity is, like, really shocking, so you have to let it sit. But the thing is, I didn't feel my muscles contracting, just my fat boiling. <laughs> I don't even think I think we all that. have different ways of describing it. It's just a very uncomfortable thing at first. But you felt the, the, the yeah. muscles contracting? Because I didn't. No, I, I don't know if I could say that. I don't know. People want me to do it more. Oh, fuck y'all. That <laughs> shit was a eh, little nah. What did you get to? Four? Yeah, I bailed at four. Try five. Why not? Oh, I just put them all let's see let's what see Dan then. can do. Yeah, let's... Show me where, Show me the placement. Okay, yeah, that looks good. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Right. Aww. Alfredo Cam. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm cute. Yeah. What about Shredder? Where is that there? Oh, my God. Oh. You can show Shredder. Just don't... Just... Show him like a top side. You want me to control it for you? It's Shredder! Uh, it's He's like, what? What's going on? What are we doing? Wow, I love you, my boy. <laughs> I love you. Come here, Flu. Mm -hmm. Ow. It's definitely working. I turned it up. <laughs> Come here, Flippy. All right, so let's go ahead with Dan. All right, here. That's so, gonna be my uh, get on over there, AB, with my the guide here. So you gotta control both so, of them. Yes. So each one is each side. And so, here, we can just turn it on to start because it doesn't really do anything until you turn it up a little bit. And here, we'll, we'll just do it to start. Okay, so Dan is strapped in. Ooh, that's he, three. Dan has more hair like me, so I'm wondering if that affects... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It hurts, right? It's, yeah. But do you get used to it if you get let it sit? <laughs> it's, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh. I, I'm just, I don't know. It felt like really painful. <laughs> and y'all were like, it doesn't even hurt. Well, I, I now understand what Olivia was saying. There's there's two distinct things going on here. There's the there's your muscles tensing the fuck up, mm -hmm. but then there's just that buzz of being electrocuted if you've yeah. ever accidentally touched a outlet or whatever, or the prong on a yes. plug. And that's just that's just constantly happening. So was it, would you say it was that or the muscle? I had all I, electric, no muscle. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe you're right. Maybe the stomach thing. But uh, uh, that's at four. I agree. I think dude, there's like a fat three inches of fat before you can get my muscles. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't even affecting your muscles. All right, yeah, you can uh, crank it up to four. All right, we're going to four. All right. Okay, let's see what Dan's got. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh yeah, moment. That, that's not great. That's not a great feeling. Good? Dude, if that's legit what you guys are going through once a month, I mean... Uh, yeah, that's fucked. <laughs> just uh, let's just go, go to five. Oh my Fuck god, it. Dan is going for it. Oh, oh, <laughs> my lord. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dan is standing Interesting up. Interesting, you want to stand up? Yeah. Dan is standing up. He is coping with fighting. Fuck, Lena laughing. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. How is that laughing. possible? I'm just saying the skinnier people are having an easier time with No, that. don't yeah, find it. I'm just saying hey, there's don't, a pattern. Do not take it away from us. I'm just saying. That's an excuse. You want to go to six? You good? Let's do it. Oh my god, All Dan's right, going to six. six. And just remember, Dan. Bruh. Seven and eight, there doesn't seem to be a difference. Right. In my opinion. I feel like I'm, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. It, it, when you, every time you kick it up, it's, you know, <laughs> yeah. the first second is like, oh boy. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Just, just, let's go. <laughs> seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Dan is going up to seven, which is basically all the way up, I think. Seven. Yeah, I would say that was less of a jump already, like mm -hmm. going from six to seven. Let's just Let's go, go. Let's go. Let's all go. the way. Oh, shit. Let's go. Crank that thing. <laughs> Was there a difference between seven and eight, Dan? Barely. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, I mean. Wow. Yeah. What yeah. was the point of doing this again? <laughs> Well, the yeah, it, yeah, it sucks. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, it really sucks. Yeah. The point is All that right, we're trying to it, empathize. Uh, You're doing it for oh, the women. With the ladies, yes. Oh, we're, all... we're, Woo! we're sending love out to the ladies. Yeah. Yes. We feel it. Yes. Okay. There you go, Dan, going great. all the way to the top. We're glad we did that. <laughs> it was a great little experiment. Oh, yeah, I feel like I just did, like, a hundred sit-ups. Like, I am, my <laughs> stomach muscles are wrecked right now. Ah, uh, that's, see, I, Whew. I didn't feel it in my muscles at all, you guys. It's because you didn't give it enough time. I was at four, bro. I was, it, I felt it contracting, like, totally. Um, um. Good job, Dan. Anyone else? Thank you. Want to so try it? Doing it? Ian, do you, Cam, you want to do it? Oh, yeah, we should get Ian in there. <laughs> and Cam. So, He's got such a beautiful new background, though. That's true. Some people are suggesting to do it on my back so that I don't have the fat excuse. Oh, that's interesting. I would be willing to try that. I mean, if you did it, like, yeah. that same, like, here and here. I did say yesterday, like, a lot of the pain that happens during periods is in the lower back. There it is. There it is. That, and you feel that in contractions, too. You feel yeah. it in the back, too. All right, so I'll do that's the back. Right there. And then I can see if the fat conspiracy is real or not. Or if you're just a... Pussy! pussy. It might just be <laughs> that I'm a giant wuss. <laughs> Cameron Grants, everybody's getting geared up right now. Cam, the one and only, getting geared up. Are you hairy, Cameron? He's pretty hairy. Okay, so I'm just curious about how these different components play into the feeling he's a sexy beast the thing is my back doesn't have hair or fat so that could be a good experiment you have a hairless back yep pretty interesting much. Mm -hmm. all right cam's sitting down right now i'm gonna pass the mic over to him hi everybody cameron with his beautiful soothing voice oh thank you let's see if he can keep his tim timber while being electrocuted we'll see you must hear that all the time, Cameron, that you have a beautiful voice. And to yeah. be honest, I don't really think so myself, but I appreciate <laughs> Yeah, but you didn't answer the question. You hear that all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> are we on? Okay. All right, Cameron is moving up. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's, is that that's three? three? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Is that a three? Is that a four now? Four? <laughs> Cam's at four. You know, it's... It, I feel like my tummy's shaking right now. Right. Uh, but I can I can live with it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, move them on up to five. Right? Is that five now? Five. All right, we're at five and. Ooh. <laughs> what are you feeling? Are you feeling the electricity or your more more your stomach <laughs> muscles? I'm feeling both of that, all of the above. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> my God. Yeah. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> Um, let's go up. Let's do it. Wow. Going up to, what is this, six? Cam's at six. <laughs> yeah, that's a six. <laughs> uh, 
I, yeah, I'm really confused how Lena was g like giggling and yeah. running around right now. But you know, I could I could live with this too. But I'm definitely not going to after school curriculars with this. One, you know? um, exactly. Yeah. Dude, you could live with that. Uh, I mean, like. By keeping it minimal, I'm not gonna screaming like a girl, bro. Panicking yeah. at four. <sighs> like which girls? These? Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, what is uh, this? I was screaming like an Ethan. Yeah, like a <laughs> like a. What uh, is this device used for, actually? Is it a torture device or what? It's back pain. <laughs> okay. Back pain device. All right, <laughs> let's go up one more. Let's see if I can do it. Seven. Oh, okay. Seven. I, I didn't really notice much of a spike there. Actually, never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Dude, it feels like somebody's pushing on my tummy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Yeah, this, su this sucks, dude. <laughs> this sucks. Uh, <laughs> let's go to eight, though. I, I, I just got to get... I got to rip it off. Rip off the band-aid. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't really notice a difference between the two. Yeah. I kind of have a theory that once it's past six, it goes back and forth. Because I was feeling it rotate mm. once it got past six. Dude, Maybe. it feels like somebody's inside my stomach, like just doing a mosh pit in my tummy right now. You know, right. it, everything's moving around. <laughs> Oof, okay. We can, I think we can call it a day. <laughs> yeah. So, nice. what, did you go up to eight? Yeah. Wow. Did I? I th that was eight, right? Thank you very much. Impressive showing by yeah, Cameron. Yeah, that was impressive. God, I'm such so a you, baby. So you want to do one? Yeah, I'll try it on my on back. the back. Yeah. Redemption tour. Is this my <laughs> hair? I wish there was a nutty, another fatty in the office too. I can't. <laughs> I, I can't tell if it's my hair on there or if it's communal hairs on. Yeah. The no, let's not even <laughs> ask questions. Yeah, yeah. I had that same thought. All right, let's get my back. Good okay. job, Cam. Right. Let's go, baby. Shirtless. You were pretty chill about it, Cam. Yeah, he, he handled it pretty well. Oh, where should I? Or where should guy? AB put these, Olivia? In the your low opinion? back, like on the two, the sides of yeah, the low back. Yeah, just get it right where you would put a tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that low enough? I mean, I mean yeah. it's super low. You want me to put it in your crack? It's yeah, I want you to. I want you to like credit card. That's good. Like like ass. low hit. Low hip. So if can yeah. you go lower for the other two? Bro, oh, that's your ass. Ela, you do it. You do it. <laughs> I don't want Amy to have to touch me there. <laughs> put, put it, put it, get down there. Get in there, Ela. This is what marriage means. It means putting shit in my ass crack. <laughs> yeah, get in there. So are those two close or you think those are fine? Put one on your gooch. That's perfect. Put one yeah. on my ass crack? Put one on your gooch, Ethan. I think this one will be, it'll be better. Okay. I have a good right. feeling about it. We're lower that. back. We're strapped up. You want to do it, No, 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 Don't give it to her. No, <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. All right, guys. I cannot administer pain. Okay, here we go. All right. What do you want me to start it? Just go gradually up to three. Okay, we're at one. Yeah. We are at two. Yeah, I don't feel anything. Like, okay, there. I got okay, okay. I got that three going. Yeah, three. it's. I'll tell you right now, it's not as painful. Mm. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, it's it is painful. Yeah. Sort of. Right, right. It feels like tight. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's like a magnet is pulling my muscles towards it. That's right. All right, go up to four, AB. Yeah, mama! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's kind of nuts. The bottom one's still working. Good. You're the involuntary. Hurt, like, a lot. Working right oh, now. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Go up to five. Okay. Right. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Ow! 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 Ah! Feels like bee stings, bro. Ah! Oh, that hurts so bad. You guys serious? You don't think that hurts? It feels like bee stings, bro. Like a thousand bees. It's the electricity that hurts. I thought it hurt. Yeah, the electricity is what we're getting into. It does hurt, but I don't know. It's this one on the top right here that hurts the most. It's like a little mm -hmm. dagger, dude. The ones on the bottom are not that bad. Or no, they're bad. What am I at? Five? Five. Yeah. You, that's where you were at, right, Zach? Uh, 
Oh, I went to six. No, you didn't, you liar. Oh, fuck. I don't want to go to six. It hurts. All right, try it and then stop. It's going to hurt so bad. All right, go up to six. Here we go. <laughs> me in the tits fucking shit in my mouth bitch fuck baby oh god it hurts so bad when you turn it up yeah it's like getting it feels yeah. like being stabbed man yeah that part is the worst it's just when you turn it up it's like little fucking mm. daggers bro yeah uh fuck baby <laughs> fuck ow Does that mean you're doing another one? Do you, do you feel your back spasm? <laughs> no, no. You, every so often you do a little. No, yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm moving. I don't know, bro. I don't really want to go up anymore. Put one on your gooch. Don't go up there. Put one on my gooch. Yeah. <laughs> six. At least I went as high as Zach. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll you say did this six. Seven and eight aren't that bad. Seriously? All right, go up to seven. Ow! Ow! Alright, just go up to eight. Go up. Do it. Full power. Do it. You did it! You did it. Ah! <laughs> I'm sweating. Get it out of my back. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, let me just try to relax my muscles. Yeah. Take uh. deep breath, slow. Uh. Yeah. And then slow release. My body's so tense. Just relax. Mm hmm. I'm telling Ow. you, when it was on my stomach, bro, it felt s fucked up. Like something wasn't right there. It was so painful. <sighs> Fuck, baby. Shit in my fucking ass, bitch. Ow. 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 <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Fuck. Yeah, it's still on. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm you made it. I know. Yeah, yeah, you can't you can't turn it off. <laughs> yeah, turn it off. You, you get used to it. Ow, ow, fuck! <laughs> it hurt going down. My <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. It hurt going down. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you did it. Take this shit off. Bro. Oh, it's all numb. My whole back is just numb. Shit. Hell no. Nah. But I'll, I'll be totally honest. It's the electrocuting that hurts. Yeah. You're just being electrocuted. Thank you, guys. Oh, fuck, baby. You see, I'm not a wuss. <laughs> Screaming like an Ethan. Like, like a little Ethan. fucking baby Ethan. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Zach, you wanna go for eight? You wanna go for eight? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ian, yeah, I want to see Ian, yeah. Bro. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. my God. Do I have to have, it's like, what? Do you know what? Nine people's belly button lint and yes, back sweat sir. and little, little juices. I mean, you don't have Possibly to do even chair, um, dingleberries from my, from my bath. I know, that thing was pretty low. <laughs> Possibly even yeah, some schmegma. I was true. diving for gold back there. My asshole almost <laughs> prolapsed. I almost had to call Howie Mandel oh, no. <laughs> to make a TikTok of my butthole. Uh, what do we do about it? <laughs> so it's a middle, little misleading because I would say three, four, and five hurt the most. Yeah. I think it's just that you get used to it because we were I doing it so. gradually. I think, I think you get used you to it. You kind of get accustomed so. to mm -hmm. it. Because I just felt the most like it was just like oh fuck. i agree that last stretch from like seven, six, eight, seven eight it, yeah. it wasn't too big yeah. of a yeah. step all right well is ian getting strapped up or is he out on the dingleberries it sounds like he's out i i mean i could do it just okay. if it's cleaned off oh you were you do want yeah we, i don't know just get an easy way to do it because it's got that like gel yeah we must on. have some some uh sanitizing wipes would it take off okay. the stickiness though right yeah, it's like a gel sticky thing, yeah. Can bacteria right, we'll survive being electrocuted? <laughs> oh my god, my whole body was so <laughs> tense. Yeah. When I went to eight and then realized and relaxed my body, then I got more used to it. And I could have sat I could have sat like that for for a long time. Yeah. Once you there get you there go. and you relax your body. 
Oh, I'm so glad I redeemed myself. You guys would have never. <laughs> well done, well done. Let me live. I'm trying. To, I'm down. googling around right now, actually, to see if like uh, fat putting theory? the contacts on an area with a lot of fat like makes it more painful. Um, fat theory. <laughs> not. To be honest, I'm not coming up with anything though. Yeah. Well, what are you a doctor? I was, try I was trying to cover for you. <laughs> All right, Ian's get. Is Ian getting strapped up? Are we saying? Yeah, I'll yeah. hook it up one second. All right, Ian is getting. Strapped up here. Ian. With the pregnancy pain. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> oh, people in the chat were saying they'll stay sticky even if you... Uh, mm. How's that work? What, what kind of magic material is that? I don't know. Somebody, mm -hmm. somebody in the chat said uh, they'll stay sticky if you wash them. Oh, shit. Oh, throwback. Here we go. Ready? Here comes Ian's salary temporary. Ooh, God, I love that. Man, that was fire. Hit me with that one more time. Round two. It's like a Jimi Hendrix lick. <laughs> Woo! Here comes Ian's salary temporary. I almost feel like he's saying employee. It throws me off. <laughs> Here comes okay. the end. Here comes the <laughs> salary employee. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. I love that um, everyone had to just really push it, didn't they? Up yeah, we all, had, we all had to do it. Well, once... Um, See Who the spot the after Who Zach went all the way up first? AB? <laughs> uh, e Lena. A -B. Oh, Le oh, no. I, I don't Lena think Lena stopped at seven. Which is basically oh. eight, let's be honest. Yeah, she could have done that. Right, she could have easily done Yeah, I blame Lena for this uh, landslide. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ian, let's see what you got. All right, just, just do three. Okay, here we go. Ian, uh, the full time employee. That's right. Salaried. <laughs> and everything. So now that this is on your skin, Ian, is it a bad time to tell you about my crabs? Oh, I, I knew about those. <laughs> okay. I don't feel anything yet. Okay. Is that three? That three. You don't, don't feel anything? anything? Really? That seems wrong. Yeah, that yeah. seems wrong. Wait, crank it a little bit more? All right, here we go. Four? No? Oh, Ian has no it. sensation. It's going to turn on. Something's wrong. It. Yeah, it's going to go. Did cleaning it mess with it? I just wiped it off. It should be fine. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh. Just, I'm just feeling it on half, though. Oh. Oh, wait. One of them fell off. Wait. Oh. 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 No wonder you don't <laughs> like, feel this it. Easy. <laughs> okay, it's not on you. Comes <laughs> in yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going back. Back to three. Okay. Yes. You feel, okay, it? I feel it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. It's working. So, what do you think? <laughs> Three's not too bad. Uh, I tried it yesterday. Oh, you did. We got to four. Yeah, I you think you're gonna be fine. Out. You're gonna be fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Go to four. Okay. Go to mm -hmm. four. okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Just <I> myself. <laughs> Dribbled out. Prolapse that anus, daddy. I'm I'm trying to uh, keep in mind like it gets a little better once you get used to it, and I think it yeah. does. Yeah. But it's that jump. Seven, jump. eight, ain't nothing, bro. What's that? Four. The let's jump just, is the worst. Let's, let's five is right, the worst. Let's get to five. Let's go to five. Five is bad. Mm -hmm. Five yeah. is bad. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Five is where the breakthrough happens. And yeah. six, six is horrible too. <laughs> yeah, I'm like feeling it in my legs. I feel. Your legs. I felt it like in my whole body. I really did. Wow. Yes, I've lost all motor function down there. <laughs> um, I like legs. He's still switching. Ass. Look at this fucking. <laughs> ah, he is man. still switching. <laughs> switching. As Ian, ladies and gentlemen, switching through the pain. What a fucking oh God, dude. What is this at six? <laughs> you're at five. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit, once you conquer you that do. six, you're yeah. good. Once you you're do. Good. You, yeah. Okay. All right. Jump it. Jump it. Jump it. Okay. <laughs> is, it's, is it really painful for you? I mean, it's definitely uncomfortable. 
Yeah, I would describe it as very painful. I don't know. <laughs> so everyone's trying to sugarcoat it. My experience was not uncomfortable. Eli, you would do this for fun, like you'd turn this on, have a good time. So try to relieve muscle pain, back pain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of uh, apparently like physical therapy. That's what the doctor told me. Yeah. To oh, it's okay. True. Interesting. I mean, it may not have been that uh, high of a voltage. It probably was it like seven. five, though, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You're at seven right now? Put it to eight. Seven. Just go for it. Yeah. Ian is quivering. His lips <laughs> there and face. There was a quiver there. That is is, uh... Yeah, here's a jump. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> You're up all the way, buddy. You I made it. Split second got you. And can you do switching? Is, I noticed... is that eight? Yeah, I can, I can. I see switching. Yeah, keep switching. Ian. 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 Thanks, guys. All right. <coughs> Wait, you're not going to stay like that during the whole show? Is that? That seems weird. Wait. It hurts. No. Wait, yeah. it hurts to go down? It does. If you do it fast. I, I Yeah, he well, turned it all off for me and it I fucked me up. Me too, Wait, what? AV switched it off real fast. Oh, and I'm just stuck ass. up here now? No, <laughs> okay. turn it down slowly for the boy pain. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. I'm rolling down. No, this is great. <laughs> this is a come down. Yeah. Oh. You're That's out? actually nice. <laughs> the release is nice. Yes. What's what's the big deal with period cramps? It's nice. No, that I will say that was not a good time, and um, my you know, em empathy is going up. Big yes. Time, my condolences. All right. And next yeah, up, Ian, period. we have a jar of fika fish. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to do it when the thing's at eight. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Slamming the fish. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Woo! Good job there, Ian. All right. He comes here. Salary employee. And Zach, are you looking for a redemption? Or are you happy where you're at? You could try it on your back if you want. Or nips. Or nips or bald. <laughs> Zach, I'll do two dick. nips if you do two nips. Earlobes. Knees. <laughs> uh, all right, bring Butt it cheeks. on. Bring it on. I'll do it on my stomach again. Okay, here we go. Zach is going back in. You know, I just want to give you that redemption arc because we all made it to eight. I appreciate that. And I would hate to leave you uh, without a full redemption arc there. Do not use it by your heart. That is good advice. We will not be using it on our hearts. Thank you. Yo, speaking of electrotherapy. Mm-hmm. There's this new uh, technology for people with multiple sclerosis. You know, when they, when it gets really advanced, they shake uncontrollably. So they developed this new technology where they put electrodes into your brain and send like a shock, a little bit of a shock like that, really? and it cures. It like, cure, like watch this. M S brain shock therapy. Wow. And you got to see. I mean, it's just so incredible. Um, I'm trying. I saw one on TikTok the other day, but I guess it's fairly. Oh man, I'm geared up. Whenever you're ready. Um. All right, Zach. Let's do that. All right, Zachy. Take me to four first. Zach's going straight. Up. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Don't do it at once. <laughs> Zach's up to four. This is, and so you have one more to match your previous attempt. No, you got Just know. Oh, so you went. You did the worst of it. Yeah. So once you're at six, you're basically right. there. Seven and eight ain't nothing. Take me to five. Okay, Zach's going up to five for a redemption arc. Oh! <laughs> Here we go. Zach, go ahead. How you feeling? It's weird, man. It's the jolt. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't. I can't do it. Dude, you're so close. Take me to six. I'm gonna stand up. Once you're at up. once you're at six, you're home. I gotta baby. stand up, dude. Stand up. Get it done. All right. Video. You got this, Zach. I found the one I was looking for. Oh, there's two. All right, Zach's chilling at six. He's standing. All right, here we go. 
This is seven or six? Six. 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 You got this, buddy. Six. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. There you go. See? Seven. There it is. Zach's going for it. Redemption arc all the way. Oh! <laughs> all right. Hey. All right, break me to eight. Take me to eight. Take me to eight. Go yeah. home, baby. Take me home, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> the Zoe's there. There it is. Go say thank you to Chantel tonight. So. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. You, you can bring him down now. Uh, well done, Zach. Redemption arc is completed. Awesome. Jesus Christ. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Wow. Impressive stuff. By the way, here's the video I was talking about. Yeah, so this guy has, um, oh, it's, he has Parkinson's, and it makes him shake uncontrollably. Okay. And they install a little bit of wires into his brain and send electric signals into his brain. Check this shit out, it's like miraculous. Okay, so we're here for the it initial programming in session. Yeah. You got both sides of the brain put in, bilateral stimulators, and we're here for the initial programming session. This is what it looks like without the medicine and the stimulator. Wow. And now we're just gonna turn it on. I can get my fat fingers to hit the button. There we go. See how ah. it feels. Dude, watch his face. He's like tripping <gasps> out. How you feel? I feel a lot better. Yeah. Excellent. Can you believe that? Oh, Try tapping God. both your fingers for me. <gasps> so crazy. Yeah, it's it's awesome, dude. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Feels wow. pretty good. Good shot. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, good. <laughs> Can you imagine, man? That's, that's, okay, so we're here. Uh, that's amazing. Actually, there's another one Love sent me I haven't seen. Let's see. It's nice to see this stuff. It makes you feel good. Yeah. With your stimulators off, I just want to mark what your tremor is like. Okay, you happy for that to go ahead? Yeah. You right, can skip forward a bit. With your right hand, if they you don't possibly switch can. On for a while. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Okay, on the real test. Do you think you could pick that up for me? Such a hard disease. Yeah. It's so bad. Man. Right, okay. Should we switch it on? Brain just got like two. That feels good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Should we try and do these assessments again? With this hand only, I'm with your right index finger. Touch your nose, touch my finger. Mm, it's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. So cool. <laughs> okay, you're right. Uh oh, fuck. Stupid ass fucking shitheads. It was making me cry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that fucking God bless him, eh? So that's a nice thing. So electricity is electrocuting your body isn't just fun and games. We're definitely acclaimed by those fucking assholes. How dare you monetize something that sweet? <laughs> right. Stupid asses. God, I'm tired of getting claims. It's been like all week. And our first video for Monday still isn't fucking fixed. Still? No. Oh. Still not fixed. Just processing? I, I talked to my guy from YouTube again today, oh. and he said, the swap is still not done. Jeez. I guess I did something to piss off the Instagram gods. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. Um, anyway, so there you have it. 
We did it, guys, boys. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. We and did it, Joe. Uh, shout out to the ladies. Thank you. Wow, we appreciate y'all so much. Incredible. Uh, there's one other thing we got to talk about, which is um, our very own Hassan Piker mm -hmm. got the opportunity to debate Cobra Tate, the human trafficker. Mr. Piker is one heaping, helping hunk of a man. <laughs> and he, he absolutely fucking hunk of a man. bodied him. Do you understand how much? Did you watch the clip? I did. Dude, I, Andrew Tate. So Andrew. T I loved every minute of it. <clears throat> Hassan was trying to make one very simple point, yeah. which is empirically women are actually better drivers than men. One of Cobra, uh, the human trafficker's points he's always trying to make is like, I don't think women should drive. They're not good drivers. And, you know, all this chauvinistic, like, insanity. And he's like, listen, empirically, that's just not true. You're wrong. And Andrew is so incapable of defending his position. He starts to could be like, you're boring, bro. Nobody wants you here. Um, yeah. Which is incredible because Cobra, the human trafficker, is perfectly fine debating other people. He does it all the time. By the way, he's doing a stream with like a bunch of 17 year olds. <laughs> I mean, this, th these are his people. So here is, it was kind of long. I don't know. We, uh, is this so the whole thing? The whole thing was, no. It, so the whole thing was uh, about like 20 minutes, 22 mm. minutes. Yeah, 22. We tried to cut it down because at certain it's points, cool. Cobra is just so thick and not getting it that they are just kind of going in circles. Mm -hmm. So we reduced it, I think it, what did it wind up, like 11 minutes or yeah. something? Mm -hmm. um, All right, well, let's give it a watch. It, it, to... it definitely gives you the idea of... It's your girl. Yeah, but... It's your girl. You know, <laughs> this has made me change my opinion a, a bit. I was thinking, like, anyone that has him on is, is not good, but Hassan really clowned him. I think I it agree. is good. It made him look like a yeah. little worm. Yeah, it's, it's good. Hassan, he told me that he Andrew's down to have a full combo with him, which I hope happens. That would be awesome. You know, I feel like I could own Andrew in a conversation pretty hard too. I don't know if he'd want to talk to me though. Although he knows who I am, so that's the start. I think but. the problem is that someone like him just immediately will make fun of your weight. That's as, fine. You can like you can do that. You want like with I feel like with Hassan he was like speechless. <coughs> He, he, he could like, be like, you're nothing. fat, you're fat. Yeah. Fucking, you're just, you're just mad because no one wants to fuck you. Yeah. He does and, try it at one point. Right, and, and like, Hassan's like, I have no problem with women. <laughs> <laughs> well, he goes, he's like, oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're just hoping one of these women drive to yeah. your house. It's like, yeah. Um, anyway, let's watch, shall we? Yeah. Society's going to degrade, and the countries where men still stick to their honor and their, their age-old expected ways of, of acting... Are there going to be a safer societies overall? So time will prove me right, but I have nothing against it. That was you guys did a zoom on that. Yeah. This motherfucker is straight, and one of the, one of these kids is straight a booger eater on stream, y'all. <laughs> Look Things at this overall, shit. So time will prove me right, but I have nothing. This against is Andrew it. Tate's friends. Bro, what Why? the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why just do it like that? Like what? He's so used to eating his own bugs that it's like second nature to him. Yo, you just ate your own bug, bro. Fuck. Shameless, my dude. Andrew, I've there's seen some also, of your- I showed them, there's a screenshot where the guy on the top left just like casually smells. Oh, we, we, uh. You got it? That, yeah. Okay. That, that's emphasized in this as well. <laughs> your girl. It's so Andrew Tate though to be hanging out with a bunch of dudes from high school. Who eat their boogers. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Your work, uh, as you're doing the rounds on Twitch here. And uh, a lot of the things that you said that you've been called out on, specifically in regards to like women driving, I, as a matter of fact, are just generally untrue. There's no empirical evidence to back up those claims, which is why you resort to anecdotes quite frequently and say things like, oh, well, it's just common sense, right? But it's not technically common sense. It's just cool. your That's personal fine. opinion. Completely. It's my uh, personal opinion uh, based on my personal biases of my life experience. No. I, I, I find that he always is trying to get away with it, but he can justify anything he says by that. Mm -hmm. Because the audience is a bunch of children. He goes, listen, you can agree with me or you can disagree. This yeah. is just my opinion. And I think Hassan does a great job of being like, it's fine that that's your opinion, but you understand but that like, you're wrong. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Which is, I think... Yeah, he, he fucking disagrees. Yeah. When I say the, yeah, exactly. And when I say these things, X amount of people agree with me and X amount of people disagree with me. 
That's fine, and that's the same of nearly any statement in the world. Okay, I but can say the world is, I can say the world is round, and there'll be a percentage of people who disagree with me. We but, all yeah, but there is a true a answer. personal biases, <laughs> and when we analyze situations, we do not have enough scope to grasp the entirety of the situation. We do, we cannot comprehend it with our human brains. Bro, but listen, which I can is why it. when it comes to women driving, it's a funny also, point. I noticed that Andrew keeps trying to speak over him, and Hassan just alphas the shit out of him. Like, he's always talking over and making him beta, beta the fuck out, dude. Because Drop the truth is different. The truth is the exact opposite. Woman well, face no, no, coming. listen. First things first. There's lies, there's damn lies, and there's statistics. I'm sure you've heard that from Mark Twain. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you're, mm -hmm. you're deriving... You're, you can you're deriving massage, your, yeah, you can massage numbers, deriving, but... You can derive, you're deriving your truth from an internet study. That's fine. You can derive your truth from an internet study on a bunch of different things. That's the truth internet. of life study? is the truth that you yeah. experience as an individual. That is the only truth that we all live within. You live within your truths, I live within my truths, because these are the truths I've experienced as an individual. It's you, certain things happen to you over and over and over and over and over again, but the truth on the internet says it's not true. That doesn't mean that your experiences are any less real. So if you come here and say the internet says X, especially Your experiences after can be real. You could be a statistical anomaly, as a matter of fact. You can be one of those people, but more more often than not, more often than that. Then I'm gonna talk to you, because I keep letting you talk and you're finishing your point and I'm trying to talk. So, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to. The, the fact that you're going on the internet, finding some study and saying that this is the truth, especially after the age of COVID and all the fucking truth we were told with that guy. You, you, are you looking to eat another booger there, dude? He, he, yeah, a few times he gets close like he wants to do it. <laughs> you want to sit here and say, oh, the internet said it. I'm sure the internet did. I'm talking about my personal experiences, and some people agree with me and some people do not. That is perfectly oh. <laughs> fine. Don't give a fuck if people agree with me or otherwise. People are listening to me and they're either agreeing I know, with me but you're still agree. wrong, and that's the problem. Uh, I disagree with you. <laughs> do you want to be right, or do you want to keep speaking into a hug box where people agree with you if you just completely <laughs> devalue empirical evidence, actuarial sciences, okay, the Thanks. entirety of the insurance industry that relies on making these sorts of calculations to ensure that these quotes are as profitable as possible, which ends up uh, charging men higher rates than women as a statistical likelihood so that men happy that he that's got that. a great that, point. it's men such are, a slam dunk the insurance yeah. industry right. is entire it's a billion dollar industry predicated on calculating risk right so that they make money and they charge more for men in general on insurance because yeah. they're worse drivers that. yeah men are more expensive to insure yeah because they get more accidents men are more dangerous drivers than women across the board and get into more car accidents across the board. If you're gonna look at all of that and say, it doesn't matter because that does not correspond to my own personal, uh, my own personal experiences, then you're silly, you're being silly. Cool. In my personal experiences, all of the car crashes I've been involved in, all the times my car was hit, and all the negative experience I've had He's on the road, out like women Stan were at fault. That is, now you can sit here and bro, say- you can't insurance. be that You just sound so bro. stupid. No, like you sound like, <laughs> A caveman, bro. I see, I see women hit my car. A oh, woman, bad driver. It's like, dude, come on. There's a whole world outside your, outside of your lived experience. Also, I doubt that's even true. You know he's right. the motherfucker crashing into. Yeah. Also, who's there every single time? <laughs> What's the common factor? Yeah. Why are you getting into accidents? How many all accidents did he? Yeah. Do? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and think of it from their perspective. Every time they've been hit, it's been a fucking dude <laughs> named Andrew Tate. <laughs> You're the there every time. The trafficker. <laughs> insurance claims say that. I never said the insurance claims don't say that. I'm saying that I am not comfortable with women driving because of my personal experience. Those are my personal experiences. He's not comfortable you... with women driving. <laughs> period. <laughs> That were I was literally I was talking about this earlier. Him saying that he is uncomfortable with women driving. It's just like that much more annoying of him because it's like so patronizing to be like i don't know if i personally feel comfortable with you mm -hmm. on the roads right it's like sir i mean <laughs> it, it's straight like fundamental islam i mean like I, yeah it, i was told i was the best parker in the office yesterday well there you fucking mm -hmm. go man eat your heart out andrew tate thank the, you the by the Girl. way horrible news He's about to go on the nelk boys podcast and you know that's mm. just gonna be a huge l for humanity Disaster. Fucking mm. elk boys. God, dude. You know, Kyle, that they're gonna be like, dude, that's so true, huh? I'm gonna oh say I don't God. think I don't think women should drive. Dude, that's so true, isn't it? I'm gonna go rip a dart. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, shit. You can drag up all the empirical evidence in the world you want to try and drag up. Anyone with a brain knows how that aids the world agendas anyway. I don't want to go too political Anyone on a stream that's going to get taken down. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not saying that I can't find a female race car driver. I'm not saying that. That's all not what I'm saying either. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like uh, statistical anomalies. I'm, I'm straight up talking about the overwhelming amount of evidence that suggests that women are more careful drivers than men. Okay. And therefore better drivers than men. Now, you keep resorting back to uh, your personal anecdotes. You under let, so let me walk this. Let me walk you through this, right? Brother, do you I, agree? I, do you agree that human beings have biases? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Okay, okay. I but, 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 but hey, I respected your time. Do you want to answer yeah. my question? Do you believe that human beings have biases? Oh, absolutely, we're all biased. Okay, completely. Do you biased. think that those biases might cloud your judgment? It's not about clouding judgment. Not just your personal cloud, uh, not just your own personal judgment. Do Maybe you think our biases might cloud our personal judgment? I think every single person on earth is biased and lives within a bias. Absolutely, that's absolutely true. Okay, so if you if it's you agree like he, with me he, on he's, both of those he's accounts, laying, he laid his own grave and he's basically just digging his own. But he's too dumb. He doesn't even know where this is going. Yep. You understand that your anecdotes, your own personal accumulation of information is going to be clouded by your own personal biases. So you're not going to be able to assess the information adequately in the same way that empirical evidence would. This is precisely why we look at data rather than make arguments around our... Per Wait, let me finish. Come on. I understand what you're saying. This is, you're just, but this is precisely why we do that. Oh, yeah, and then the 17-year-olds start backing up. Andrew, you keep making the same point. Five, come on, seven times. Um... Just pick yeah, your nose, dude. It's not getting through. I yeah. think it's an important, you know, I think he's trying to force him to acknowledge uh, that his point makes no sense, which is important. Yeah. And don't you have another booger to eat? Chill, bro. Hmm. <laughs> a, a side note, I asked Dan if the way that the mic is in the top right shot, if that would actually work. And Dan said if he was trying to mic his dick. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably using a headset mic, right? Uh, There's no way that's picking him up. No, there was one, I don't think in this specific clip, but other ones where he's talking into it like that. Mm. Thank you. You're long, long in the point. You're saying that the empirical evidence is saying X, so it doesn't matter what my personal experience is. That's yes. fine. My point is, let me change it. Let's say that the empirical evidence says that a pit bull is more likely to bite you than a Dalmatian. But in your life experience, every time you went near a Dalmatian, it bit you, and a pit bull never did. Are you going to go up to a Dalmatian still completely and go, oh, it's fine, completely unbiased because the empirical evidence says X when you're covered in scar? Bro, you are so dumb. He's what? literally describing like a bias. No, you're going to say Dalmatians bite me for some reason, and I'm not comfortable around but Dalmatians. That's called human nature. Okay. So I'm telling you my personal experiences, and I don't care. I understand your point. Empirical evidence Maybe says X. Women in this country can do X. I completely mom. get that. For secondly, okay. it's also country by country because you're only talking about America because you're American and you don't see outside of the world. That's fine. I'm, I'm Turkish, well, actually. I grew up in that's Turkey. Point. That's um. not the point. That's <laughs> not the point I'm making. Well, hold on. Why hold on. It seemed like that was the point, actually, yeah. that you're trying to make. I'm making is I'm uncomfortable <laughs> with a woman driving. And if you actually ask most women, if it gets late at night or it starts getting dark or it starts raining rain heavily road, or the go. parking gets difficult, they usually ask the man to drive themselves. I know many women who do that. They're not offended. Can you drive? Oh, can you park this car for me? Please. It's a too rainy and dark. <laughs> I need you to park this car for me, please. When's that ever happened? By my assumption. <laughs> I know loads of women who go, oh, I don't want to park, you park it. The Dalmatian example that you gave is great. You are creating now a hypothetical scenario in which you want your opponent to concede. What if in a million times that I have bred pit bulls or been around pit bulls, not a single one of them has ever been aggressive? We will never be able to arrive at a meaningful solution. <laughs> Intellectual juggernauts are sitting... <laughs> With Tate there. <laughs> if a smell could kill. <laughs> or a resolution. He's like, oh, shit. To oh, damn, he stinks too, huh? <laughs> it's not even like... That was like a rough be able to to sniff test. At a meaningful solution Ooh, or a resolution to this conversation. Ooh, oh, if we're both like operating <laughs> on personal <laughs> anecdotes and hypotheticals. So let's change the subject because you just okay. proved your point. Okay. Andrew, do you believe... Is well, it possible I didn't they're just trying to be famous on a stream with 
two famous people well they, like they're trying to create viral <laughs> moments i don't know yeah. who these two guys are but I it's their no stream idea. they invited andrew on oh interesting mm -hmm. they they're just copying adam with the nose picking 100 percent. they're just trying to copy adam what he they're ate trying his, what? The new meta is Wait, booger eating. eats his boogers <laughs> That's a, yeah, <laughs> That's a trend. That's a Twitch nose trend. I don't know. <laughs> I'm oh, it's a certain trend. they're just trying to copy and add and <laughs> to come, become wait, viral and shit. Oh Aiden, my god. Oh, it's all the time. Okay, but eating your own boogers? Uh, that seemed uh, eating your own boogers not that for clout. Dumb. It's not that cool. <laughs> I think I. It's not that. Smart. I think so. <laughs> I agree with love. Okay. Ian thinks they're just copying it in as well. well. They have literally no basis to actually jump into anything being said whatsoever, so they have to do some. They're trying to be way. silly. Maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, these guys, based on what I was seeing, they have Andrew on, and they keep bringing new people into the stream to yeah talk to him. I guess yeah. And somehow they decided this was the most boring one and kicked this on out. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I didn't, uh, you didn't really prove anything, but it's cool. Uh, it's, it's do you believe the earth is flat or do you believe the earth is, is spherical, round? Two years. LD has right. his headphones on. Yeah, oh, he took his uh, headphones off? He gets very stressed sometimes and you know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. important, you know? <laughs> Andrew's yeah. getting a little overwhelmed, yeah. poor baby. And he just bailed, bailed without saying anything. <laughs> he gets a little stressed sometimes, you know? Uh, human trafficking is a stressful job, yeah, and yeah. Uh, sometimes no. you need a breather. Sometimes you can't take the heat. Okay. Sometimes you can't take the heat, so you gotta get out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, Andrew, do you believe the Earth is flat or round, spherical, globe? Round. What's it? Do you believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I, I, I It looks flat. It feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you uh, believe the Earth is round? Because. I have personal experience that would prove to me that the Earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Did you go up to the fucking moon? Is well, that how you figured right. it out? <laughs> I flew up into space and I looked down on Earth and yeah. I saw a big circle. That's crazy. Look, even okay. his buddy. Okay. You don't have to. Hey, listen. You don't have to concede they, on that point, but I think you that. and I both understand the importance of scientific, uh, the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, or you know, our fun. science. I saw it there. And I thought, wow, this guy, wow. Okay, he's going to ruin the stream. This is he when he starts mm -hmm. yep. with the uh, shenanigans. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't deal like, with oh, it. You're just boring. Yeah. <laughs> you're ruining the stream, dude, with these... Uh... The girls are tuning out. Right. Yeah. Oh, chick. Now oh, you're did here. You, is that oh. what you thought? Just, just, just chill out. Like, I, I don't want to argue. So what's up? Is it, is it a little bit more bad. difficult when I'm not like uh, the traditional like SJW looking person? Is that why it, it, it feels like oh. the, the stream is a little bit more ruined? No, it's not difficult. As a professional, I'll tell you the conversation we just had. Yeah, you, uh, dude, you've been kicked in the face and stuff. Like, I'm sure you can handle little old me. <laughs> exactly. So I'll tell you as a professional the conversation we just had. I said I am biased and I don't believe women can drive. That's my personal experience. I don't care if anyone agrees. Oh. You came along and said, you can't, don't interrupt me. You came along and said, <laughs> no, it's not true because of the evidence. I came and said, I don't care about the evidence, my personal experience. You said, I also have personal experiences and we're all biased. I agreed. Then you said, even if I had personal experiences that said X, I would ignore them because the internet told me to believe Y. I believe what I am told. That's not what I think. said. The I internet said that regardless yeah, of my own that. personal biases that i might have women drivers being safe is internet propaganda yeah the internet told me what the fuck bro <laughs> where'd you find that on like uh fucking uh reddit uh nih.gov or some shit have evidence is still more important than my personal biases when you guys are all talking at once you and it's boring it. and you've lost and it's boring so let's just oh, move on you're to boring. the next subject yeah. is, that, is that what happens you just say i'm boring and i lost and then you win is that what it is do a poll, do a poll in the chat and if you want then we'll continue to talk it but i'm sure you've lost and it's boring okay. and it's do you, do you want me to leave the conversation that desperately andrew it seems like you're running away a little bit oh, we're just going <laughs> to never any circle like we've, okay we've yeah we can move on from that we can move on from the the what's funny is these kids like they don't even understand that they're ha making the best content of the day. <laughs> they're sitting there being like, "Why yeah. you guys just keep talking in circles?" It's boring. You, they kick Hassan out, and it's like you just made your show so much worse. This could have all been iconic if you let it go. It, it, the importance of science.
and and <laughs> Andrew's personal biases. Andrew, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the Hustlers University, whatever that is? <laughs> Not in a promotional capacity. I know that like you're doing the rounds on Twitch, and I know that that's probably giving you a big boost. But I want to understand, you know, because you are a businessman. I want to understand how you generate revenue. Uh, is it okay to get this information for Sub free, or do I have to pay fifty dollars and then maybe get an affiliate link and? get other people to also join <laughs> so I can make a 10% cut off of them also joining Hustlers University. You can find everything on the website and you can join if you want more information, that's fine. But you don't wanna, you don't wanna share this information for free right now, you don't wanna educate me on that. I don't wanna sit here and spend the next hour you trying to accuse me of some bullshit. I'm not, it's, it's I'm not, I'm, I'm here to learn. Andrew, you are a brilliant right. mind. <laughs> maybe a little rattled, maybe a little rattled from uh, the, the numerous concussions, but brilliant nonetheless. <laughs> So I want to hear more about your business strategy, if possible. It's actually quite interesting that people who are too scared to get in the ring try and make fun of people who have bravery to try and make fun of No, people. I do oh. think it's very brave. By the way, I love this. Now he starts getting defensive about, <laughs> oh, I was a fighter and I'm brave. It's like you yeah. spend your whole day trashing on people and now you're going to get defensive. And by the way, good for you for getting in the fucking ring. What, do I got to suck your dick about it? It's like, I, I don't owe you any respect. You're not. It's something you wanted to do. Just because I didn't want to do it, doesn't make, make me less brave or less heroic than you. That's something you wanted to do. So good for you for getting a hobby that results in you getting brain damage, like <laughs> Hassan pointed out. It's just not my cup of tea, you know what I mean? Some things that I do might be brave for me and other things might be brave for you. For example, reading a book. <laughs> or a book, brave huh? for him. In a book? Yeah, in a in book. A book? Uh, for, for example, um, Letting a woman drive and sitting passenger. Mm. In a book. Oh, that's true. I mean, that's ultimate bravery. challenge. Mm -hmm. you take. You know, <laughs> cooking <laughs> dinner. <laughs> right. In a book. Drinking tap water. <laughs> that's I'm just saying, brave. you know, bravery <laughs> is subjective. <laughs> Unlike, <laughs> by the way, your opinion about women drivers. Thank you. Thank you. Brave. I do think okay. I do think it's very. <laughs> oh, all right. So let's let's not let's not let's not detract the bravery of men who do things you're afraid to do. That's the first thing. The no, no, no. Thing. You you are absolutely. You are a warrior, brother. Brave. You still might have CTE, but you are incredibly brave. <laughs> I, I I appreciate it. I mean, don't whatever. get defensive, bitch. Uh, cool. The point. Oh, no, he's so rattled. Whatever, <laughs> dude. It's fine. You're just getting a little smoke, brother. You can't deal with it. Is I know you want to sit here and talk about hate, hate you and try and break it down and you've prepared a bunch of notes, etc. Et I have no notes whatsoever. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. I don't know anything I'm talking about. I'm simply here to learn from you. No. Can we stop with the sarcastic shit and just have an actual No, I'm literally, but that's the truth. Oh, you're being so sarcastic though. Like, what, can Andrew not handle it? Yo, 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 my man. You really uh, gotta, you, you gotta look, protect Can we stop Andrew? with the logic here? Come on. Yeah. I don't want to hear facts. I don't want to hear- Bro, like chill. Do with the fucking empirical evidence shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He says the world is is round because he's seen the curvature. Just believe that. We want to have a debate, but we don't want anybody to go back and forth yeah. on anything. Because no, that's boring. But also, don't try and be funny. That's boring. Chill with the sarcastic shit, bro. You're making Andrew upset. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being so sarcastic? Like, I'm not. I'm literally... Oh, bro, you're oh, just oh, come, like, on. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm asking questions. Hassan. Yeah, you're being sarcastic. Like, listen. Hassan, <laughs> please. It's pretty clear... That I was the better Hassan, so yeah, that's agreed. I agree with that one. If, that's for sure. if you could just get out the call, maybe it would fix the stream. Uh -huh. I think so. It's would boring, you guys, man. if you guys would like me to leave the call, I can do that. I don't want to hey, be. I, I don't gotta, want to be rude. I gotta get back to work. I I, I do not want to be rude, boys. Uh, you know, this is your stream, uh, Andrew. Uh, I'd love to talk to you in more detail if you'd like to. I I hope that one day you can uh, educate me on your your revenue strategies. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it does look a little bad though. If you're like, if you feel as though I should leave the call because you feel like I'm overpowering you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then, well, some of the best parts is after he leaves, then they all start talking shit about him. Like, that part I didn't he's get so to watch. boring bro and he's just so boring he was ruining the stream <laughs> he goes listen I don't care having conversation it's just boring it was just bringing the mood down I'm just here to have fun call to sauna nerd they're like ah, what a nerd what a fucking nerd ass empirical so evidence things. bitch <laughs> you're a fucking nerd you don't drink bubble water no, you don't. Even, it's not even just the empirical evidence like it, when it, you really boil it down Cobra is basically just saying he doesn't believe in objective reality yes yeah like I, I just don't believe in and that. And of course he yeah. does. I don't know. I think he might be such a narcissist, the narcissist that he really, like, in his it's world, just, I'm the only one that matters. Yeah. I, like, my opinion is all 
that exists. He's in just reality. it's just a rhetorical bullshit to just he could say whatever he wants, but I he knows he, the world is round. I like, think it's like Ethan said he just found answers to kind of like give yes. when he's confronted. Like, yes, it's just my opinion. Which usually works. Yeah. Like look, you have your opinion, I have my opinion. Like with Pork Boy. It's like, okay, so it's your opinion. Right. right. I think that was kinda like the vibe with them. Yeah. But it was it was awesome to watch this because like they finally talked to someone who can really like answer in such a good way. Yeah, I man. Know. Yeah, he did a great job. So shout out uh debate Andy Hassan Debate girl. Lord. It's your girl. It's your girl. It's Here's your girl. another Hassan highlight. Um, he's on the phone with our Aiden and XQC, our favies. So, no, this is later, yesterday, he actually went round two with Tate. Oh, oh uh, he did? Yeah, after he got off stream, I guess he was on Aiden's stream, and then Hassan called in while Tate was there. Okay, oh. interesting. Yeah. At least Aiden knows what's entertaining and what's not, and, like, those yeah. booger-eating idiots. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Are you fucking, he saw Let's you doing crypto it. gambling streams, and was like, oh, there's a bunch of suckers in here. That yeah, he's just picking his nose. But does he eat it? Does he eat it? That's next that level. He saw you fucking. He saw Let's you doing crypto it. gambling streams. It was like, oh, there's a bunch of suckers in here that are gonna go fucking lose all their money doing crypto. Bro, I'm here too, oh, man. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> he saw you fucking. He saw Let's you doing crypto it. gambling streams. It was like, oh, there's a bunch of suckers in here that are gonna go fucking lose all their money doing crypto. Bro, I'm here too, oh, man. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Chaos. <laughs> yeah. I actually am kind of down to talk to Cobra now, seeing what a fucking moron he is. Love that, eh? It was really, really fun to watch that. It's so exposed. <laughs> well, there it is. You know, it's about 4.20 blaze it hour, so... I'll, oh, I'm, I guess it's time to go, but again, just a reminder to everybody, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, party time here for members only live streams. We're going to be watching Tippy Toes. We're going to be drinking, eating, and having a generally good time. Yes. <laughs> With the island vibes, man. How this is, this is like the culmination of, like, how many years of buildup? When did we first talk about tiptoes? It's been a minute. That's it's, apparently like in the old office, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should we get Sam? Can you can prepare something where we put shoes on our knees so we be, look like little people <laughs> <laughs> in the role of a lifetime? Oh boy. No, okay. no, let's not do that. In the <laughs> role of a lifetime. <laughs> Yeah, so I hope you guys all join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. The VOD will hopefully not get taken down, and you can watch it afterwards. Yep. I think it'll be okay. Hope so. Woo! In the island, man. In the coconut stay. No Andrew, no cry. <laughs> When Hassan asks you what empirical evidence, <laughs> no Andrew, no cry. <laughs> no Andrew, no cry. Your girl. Don't forget to bring food and water to the girls in your basement. <laughs> no Andrew, no cry. No, no woman, no drive. No woman, no drive. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> That's really good, Amy. Uh, thank you, Watch Family. Uh, Watch Party Family, our Saudi benefactor, just hooked up. 50, 50 Saudi memberships. So That's 50 awesome. more people that can join That's us great. tomorrow. Love your ass, bro. That awesome. Saudi guy is king. When does the said I say? Andrew, you go in the ring and get knocked out. Wait, people are asking about Ace? What was the update about Ace Family? Oh. Right, we didn't get to that story. Oh, it's in the title. It's in the title. <laughs> oh, it is? Austin McBroom has been exposed by the Ireland boys. The Ireland, Ireland boys. boys. Ireland boys. The Ireland boys. Uh, it's a worldwide pandemic. They are pandemic Ireland boys. I, they are Ireland. Yeah. That's it. Ireland, Ireland boys. Talk it's about Ireland boys. boys. <laughs> Ireland. We're Ireland boys. Ireland boys. <laughs> Wait, so... Uh, Nick received a DM from Social Gloves asking if he would be interested in fighting about compensation. Social Gloves said the budget was really tight and they don't have any money in the budget to pay him. Well, at least they're being honest this time. Last time they just were like, yeah, we'll give you a million bucks. Yeah, the screenshot from Social Gloves from the DM is pr pretty much the only interesting <laughs> thing here, but 
They're like, if you won't take money, what else will you take? I don't know. He's like, what's the lowest Perhaps to get a, you in there? Yeah, or maybe some clout, some sort of clout exchange. Talked with the team, and the budget is really tight. The card is already set, but if money isn't your motivation, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what's your motivation, social gloves? Right. How many uh, How many retweets do you want? Yeah, a million retweets, and I'll do it. If your mo money isn't your motivation, then we might be able to work something out. Might. <laughs> Not saying you would fight for free, but the budget is low. What's the lowest you would get in the ring for? I'm thinking 150 bucks. <laughs> This Elon Musk meme is... Wait, did I miss something funny? Just uh, distracting me because there was like, there's always stuff on the side. Yeah, I want to see what you're seeing. Oh, now it's it's, uh, gone. it's down there, the fourth one. Fourth one? This. The beluga? Yeah. Oh, it's a beluga. I'm going to tell my kids this was Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Man has an interesting body, I'll be honest. Oh. Uh. Um, also a hairless king, though. <laughs> Same Shout color. out Katie Cat Meow, five gifted subs. Hey, uh, Katie Cat. Uh, a message from Social Club said, What's the lowest you would get in the ring for? After Nick asked them to make an offer, Social Gloves responded that their, bu their budget was maxed out. Nick stopped responding to them after that. Social Gloves still promoted, posted a promotional poster with Nick's face on it? Yeah, what? as a potential matchup. Oh. Fuck, bro. Dirty. That's awesome. Well, there goes the redemption arc. Yeah, the redemption <laughs> arc. We we're, were pulling for you, Austin. Here, let, let's, see. <laughs> let's see the video and see if, is there anything interesting in this? Uh, not, not really. That's basically it. That's yeah. Yeah. So, I'll just that tell you what donut, okay? Austin, so I was like, shoot, we're man. We're the iron, iron boys. <laughs> just trying to make it. The luck of the Irish boys. <laughs> Shout out to our Irish members, by the way. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out to the Emerald. To the Iron boys. And me and Ricky, I talked to Ricky about it. I talked to DJ Fab about it and our friends. And I was like, man, dude, what should I say? Is this actually going to happen? Like, what do, you, what do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? And then Social Gloves, the official Instagram account of Social right. Gloves, DM'd me saying this. Hey, Nick. Are you interested in fighting on our July 30th card at Crypto Arena? By the way, Crypto Arena is where the Lakers play. It's a big fucking stadium. So who are these guys? These are the Ireland boys, but I'm confused. They, they don't, don't have, they sound American. It's the guy their in last right, name. The guy oh, the their right. last name is Ireland? Uh, oh, think, that's, yeah. that's uh -huh. fraud. Uh, <laughs> I call that uh, fraud. Man, Ireland boys. The guy on the right kind of like Deaf Noodles. Jeff's noodles right there. <laughs> uh, but Jeff. I don't know. They're they're YouTubers, and okay. who he's trying to get them involved in the fight. I don't know what they do. <laughs> Ireland boys Welcome just trying to, to make it. They don't get a lot of views. I mean, I mean they do okay. You know, 100,000 here, 100,000 there. Some soy face, new house. Pretty typical. Right pretty typical 2020 YouTuber. Lots of arrows. Two new houses. New house? New house? Motherfucker, what? <laughs> That's true. Anyway. Arena. And I said, possibly, what's the offer and do you have an opponent? And then they said this. Not sure what the offer is yet. Have to talk with the team. Anyway, I already read all the details, yeah. but pretty funny. Is it still canceled, the fight, or was that all just a publicity stunt? Uh, postponed as of now. Yeah. So, but didn't his opponent come out to do tests? Yeah, I, I was a little confused about that. A lot of people were. A lot of people were commenting on it, but so it actually got postponed because that seems like a big deal. Because you have all the production, you have the arena. Oh yeah, everyone definitely. on standby. I mean, and they I were like... the headline of the event. Wow, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Shout out Easy Marty for five gifted subbies. Easy Marty, we're getting a bunch of uh, members right now. There's also oh, a... thank you. Yeah, actually, Let's go. Let's uh... fucking go. In here. We about the party tomorrow. What do you want to read this member comment? Brianna said, "Got my Teddy Fresh order today, first order, and I'm obsessed. So hard to find clothes that actually fit my body. Thank you." Hell yeah! Thank you. Shout out Brianna. Ow. Shout out, ow, ow. shout out, little Jew for being a member for 16 months. <laughs> Love the show. Can't wait for tomorrow. That's that's a 
I wonder if they're like a rapper or something. Little Jew? Little, Little Jew. Jew. And even more specifically, the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else I should talk about no, since we're here before I sign off? Uh, oh. Hey. Oh, I want to do the... Do- hey, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah, we got to go. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck baby fuck fuck. Ow ow fuck. So I hate the Jews. Hey 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 fuck. hey 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 Fuck baby fuck. Ow ow. Fuck baby fuck. Ow ow. That to all Jews. Fuck fuck baby fuck. Fuck fuck. Ow. To all Jews. Piss in my butt bitch. Piss in my butt, bitch. Piss in my butt, bitch. Ow, ow. Fuck. <laughs> you heard my ear. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck. Shit in my ass, bitch. Ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. It tastes like beef jerky. Ooh. <laughs> it tastes like beef jerky. Yes, only in Buffalo. Ooh, only I'm in Buffalo. <laughs> Get the hot, fresh, real syrup. Yo, hey, oh, you're in trouble. One dollop on a plate. Put that your fork in it. Hey, throw your hands in the air. If you've ever ate beef jerky with a fork, come on, y'all. Let's see those hands in the air. Put them up. Let's get those fucking hands up if you've ate syrup with the fuck! Tastes like beef jerky. Tastes like beef jerky. Get those hands up in the motherfucking air. Drive angry. S- extend your hands like Keemstar holding his phone. Ooh, let's get those Keemstar hold. Let's get those Keemstar hold. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Ow! You gotta do the podcast like that at this angle. Hi, everyone. Uh, Instagram story so you guys can see how accurate it is. I'm gonna try to do the cube star. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, shit. I have to hold it. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Put your motherfucking hands in the air! Have you ever ate syrup with a fork? Fork. Put the motherfucking hand in the air with a fork. Terrorist. All right, you guys can view that online. Attack. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? It's not as good. This is more fun. Yeah. Hey, put your hands in the air. If you have under girls, underage girls in your basement, far. No, not me. I said, put your fucking hands in the air. If you had other underage girls in the basement bar, throw them up. Throw them up. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. A ten-year-old fan right oh, away. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no. You're putting me in the vortex. Oh, baby, baby. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Gonna be a hell of a day. Okay. Do you have your passport? All right. Take Did us out. Did you get your shots? Girl, with-